Dalmatians, we've got German Shepherds. We have an action packed session. It's literally sexier than a squirrel with a bit of a twist and I can't wait to dive deep. Now I'm hoping that you guys can hear me. I'm hoping that you can see me. Massive, massive welcome. If it's your first time here, let us know in the comments below. If it's your 10th time here, let us know in the comments below. And I'm really hoping that you guys absolutely are excited because I'm certainly excited. I've got lists of games. I've got literally games galore. What would you like to see tonight? Because for me, owning a dog and having multi dogs is such a pleasure when it's going right. But when it's not going right, it can actually be pretty painful and it can fill your bucket, let alone your dog's bucket. Now, I'm trying desperately to find you and I'm hoping that we're here. Yes, we're here. I can see you guys. I can see that you're watching and I'm really excited that we get to share this. Now, I already know that so many of you, let me just grab this one. So many of you that have signed up for tonight's live, you should already have been sent a super cool, just for signing up, just for being here completely free. You should already have been sent one of our favorite games. It's DMT. So you should just for signing up and just for being here. If you haven't already been sent this one, someone will be posting a link in the comments that you'll be able to get hold of this one. I'm absolutely sure. And in addition to that, for showing up tonight and for being here with us today, tonight, whatever time it is in your time zone, because I know we've got people here from Australia. I know we've got people here from America. I know we've got people here from the UK. Who's here from the UK, guys? Hello. Yes, we've got people from the UK in the house. And so we've got about 10 students ready for you. So 10 students. I think we've got, let me think, Dalmatian, French Bulldog, we've got Huskies, we've got a Labradoodle, we've got a Terrier. In fact, tell me who you're most excited about. I'd love to know who you're most excited uh, to see. I'm just going to turn the volume down because if not, you're going to be speaking to me in double. So I've got lovely Karen Hughes, she's got a Labrador. We've got lovely Jackie who's in the UK. Tell me where you guys are and also tell me what you're excited about. Who do you want to see us train? Which breed would you like to enjoy tonight? Because I know there are lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of people who are very excited about what we're about to dive into. Now, in addition to that, and that's, I think there's a lot coming, but in addition to that, just for being here tonight, just for being here tonight, we are going to send you these. If you would like to see these, now maybe you're watching on YouTube. If you're watching on YouTube, you are going to have a link. Someone's going to be posting you a link in the comments so that you can access these. They're completely free. I'm going to put those down. These are completely free. I've got so many things in my hands. These are completely free and you're going to have these. They're called the Squirrelometer. And basically it's about how you're going to get your dogs training in distractions and actually managing themselves no matter what is coming in their path. Literally squirrels, bunnies, I don't know, you know what, uh, joggers, maybe it's even potentially skateboarder, whatever it is that distracts your dog out and about, this is what it's about. So if you want these guys, you have to post in the Facebook comments, squirrel. So you have to post squirrel. Is it squirrel or squirrel live? Squirrel. You have to post squirrel in the Facebook comments, or if you're on YouTube, there should be a link being thrown at you right now. Share that link, make sure everyone can get hold of these. They're super cool. They're made for dog trainers and dog training, just like the dog training struggles that you're going through. They are made for you and they're free just for showing up tonight. Now, if you haven't already, share this live, whether it's YouTube, whether it is Facebook, share this live because it's gonna be action packed. Now. I'm gonna look at my comments and I wanna see what breed of dog you want to see first, because I'm excited and I don't know that you're gonna guess which dog we're gonna to see tonight. I don't, I don't know if you're gonna guess. We've got Dalmatian, we have got Yorkshire Terrier, we have got French, not French Bulldog, Frenchie. We have got German Shepherds, we have got Huskies. We literally have a huge range of breeds because I know that if we only train, say, I don't know, one breed, you'll say, well, that breed's really trainable. I know what you like. And so what we'd like to do is show you that the games work no matter what the breed. So lots of you commenting squirrel because I know you're commenting squirrel because you want those free notes. But also I do want to know which breed we're going to train first. And if you guys guess which breed we're going to train first, there might even be a prize in it for you. Now, if you haven't already, share this live because everyone that shares the live, you get a chance to win some super cool prizes and they are going to be epic. So if you want to win some of our super cool prizes, you need to share this live or you need to share the YouTube link. So make sure you do that. 
that. Now, who are we guessing? So we've got Kylie who's guessing the husky. We've got Julie who's commenting squirrel. We have got Fiona who's commenting Jack Russell. Uh, and I love, 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 love that you guys are guessing all the breeds. We've got literally the Frenchie. Uh, Claire's guessing the Frenchie. That's Claire from Australia. So whoever you are out there, tell us about you. Tell us who you are tell us where you are and tell us who you think we're going to train first. Now, what have we got in store for you today? So we have got, there's a little monkey who'd like to bite me. She's training tonight. Uh, we have got a dog who plays keep away. So we've got a dog who plays keep away. Tell me if you've ever struggled with that. We've got some trick training. We have got a dog who likes to run up and sort of greet everyone. A very friendly dog, a dog who loves everybody. We've got that dog. We've got a barky dog who's coming to train with us tonight. We've got a distracted dog who's gonna train with us tonight. We've got a dog who likes to run away from their owner. So we've got that dog too. So which of those can you relate to? Which of those problems can you think, that's mine. That is exactly what my dog does. So we've got all of the problems tonight and there's many of them. Now, we haven't had anyone guess just yet. We've got someone guessing the Dalmatian. We've got someone else guessing a Springer Spaniel. We've got someone else guessing a Labrador. Uh, and tell us what breed you have, guys, because we do want to work with you and we want to work with your dogs. Now, I'm gonna head over to our first student and our first student's actually a Yorkshire Terrier. And I'm gonna literally be over there in two seconds. You get to see her first. We're heading to our lovely Yorkshire Terrier. Okay, so Martina, your Yorkshire Terrier, she's absolutely gorgeous. So she's absolutely gorgeous. And she's not a baby, right? She's old, an older dog. Yes. And how old? 12. She's 12. And can an older dog play new games? Definitely. And has it helped her playing games? Yes, she loves it. It keeps her active. And yeah, she just enjoys and, having a fun. And games are new to her, right? Yes. So games are new to her. Is she a clever dog? Yes. She's a really clever dog, right? Yes. And does she like having an active life? She does, yeah. So the games that we're going to play are movement games. Now, why do you like movement games with her? Uh, keeps her busy. She pays more attention. Uh, she just normally, she would chase stuff. So so she's a chaser Yorkshire yeah. Terrier. So show us some love, guys. Show loads and loads of love. What's her name for everybody Tilly. who's listening? This is Tilly. Um, and Tilly, literally new to games, so hasn't been playing games forever. No. This is new to her. And actually, if she gets into her senior years, do you think you're going to play more games or less games? More games. More games. OK, so let's have a go. Let's do some left and right spins with her. So we're going to do left and right spins. And we're going to do left and right spins for sort of animation. So we want to do some left and right spins for animation. Now, you're going to pop her puppy line on. Yeah. So she's going to have a puppy line. Now, she's not a puppy. So why does she get a puppy line? It's just kind of a security and it's just, it's better for her than having a heavy lead Brilliant. on. So better than having a heavy lead, great for security. So let's do some movement first. So you're just going to get her following the food. So just a bit of food yeah. follow. So she's going to do a little bit of food follow. Really good, nice. Good, good so a little girl. bit of food follow. Good, good, good. Good Lovely girl. girl. And the food that she's getting, Martina, when she's playing the food follow, so she's following the food in your hands, that food, is that part of her dinner? Yes. Yes, because if you were going to feed her additional food, how big is she? How much does she weigh? Uh, five kilos. Five kilos, so she's a little dog. <laughs> yes. So how big is she going to get if you're giving her additional food? She will be massive. Is she yeah. more attentive since you've played games? Yes. Look at her. Like, look at <laughs> she her. just laughs. She yeah, loves she her knows. games. She loves her games. Good okay, girl. so we're going to do some movement. So a little bit more movement. One or two more. Shh. Really nice. And now we're going to do a little bit of, let her find that one. She said, I'm just going to find it. Just going to find it. There Good it is. Girl. Okay, so now she's going to do some spinning. So she's going to do some spinning and let's just turn her one way and then let's turn her the oh, other. Good. Really nice. And you're going to do a spin and you're going to do it literally nose to tail. Okay. So when she spins, she does nose to tail. That's good lovely. Girl. Really nice. Nose to tail. So guys, good show girl. her some love because she's a gorgeous little dog. Good. Uh, 12 years old. Uh, so Tilly's 12 years old, new good to games based training. And she's doing it because she's a bit of a monkey. She likes to chase things. And she's good also girl. at that age where she kind of needs good a job girl. or she's going to get to those senior years a bit sooner. So we want to keep her nice and young so it's really important we keep her nice and young so show her some love because she's good dead girl. cute and if you know anyone with a terrier share this to your terrier good friend job. okay so next game we're going to play because we know that this is new to her but she likes it is middle yes and she started to enjoy middle right yes so let's have we'll a go at that there. so with middle you're just going to take her around your legs good really girl. nicely good that's job. lovely and you're going to hold her good there for a job. second and then you're going to release her good out job. super nice really nice and again for me now I can yeah. already see you've got a habit of one side. Yes. You like this yes, side. Martina, it's yeah. easy. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna do the other side as well. Yeah, I can see it coming. And you're using some of her daily food with yes. her and you're using a mixture. 
Yeah, so not make the after I, Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. Good. Nice variety. Good girl. You're using the lead really nicely. Now, because you've got that lead on her, do you feel safe? Yes. But equally, you've dropped it. Yeah, yeah. I just dropped it. Oh, if, if I need to, I can always jump on it. And, and pick it up. Yeah. Amazing. Nice. Good you did your favourite side. And then let's do the side you don't like. Really good. good. Really good. <laughs> and out again, really nice. Okay, yeah. let's mix those games up. So you can do a bit of food follow. So she's going to be food following you for animation. Mm -hmm. Then she is going to do a couple of lefts, a couple of rights, nose to tail. Yes. And then when she's done a couple of lefts, a couple of rights, nose to tail, then you're going to go into a middle position. Okay. On the non-favourite side. Non-favourite. Happy? Yes. Let's see it. Good girl. Good girl. So guys, if you are playing games like this with your dog at home, what are you doing for your relationship? So for me, what I really love that we're seeing here Good. with Martina Good. is an older Good. dog. We're keeping our older dog young. So I love that. So I don't want you to think that this is just for puppies or this is just for adult dogs or this Good. is just for naughty dogs or this is just for difficult dogs. When we're dog training, we're thinking, how can I keep this little lady young? How can I keep her um, doing her, her very best sort of fitness work? And this is all for her dinner. So this is all for her dinner. It's also stopping her doing her monkey behaviours, which her monkey behaviours is chasing other dogs or chasing other things or chasing anything that moves what is her favorite thing to chase squirrels squirrels okay so she really is yeah. the dog that we need for sex in a squirrel and guys if you've seen sex in a squirrel yeah. please let us know sex in a squirrel uh, fans out there because sex in a squirrel is a course that's reached over a hundred thousand people can i hear a wow guys can i hear a wow that that is a wow Good. moment, isn't it? It's reached over 100,000 people all over the world. Good a course job. that you can do completely online. So completely online. You do not need to do it in person. But actually, Ooh. for a dog like her who likes chasing squirrels, when she chases a squirrel, can you keep her brain easily or not? Not really. It's hard, right? Yes. But do games help? Definitely, And yes. has that changed things? Yes. And has it made it easier with her? Def like, yes, she pays so much more attention to me now. I love it. So she plays loads more attention. Right, yeah. let's hop her back to the boundary. Tilt. You're going to switch her lead up, back. Up. So just to recap for everyone listening, and guys, show yes. some love for this because this is mega. Uh, this is Tilly. She's 12. Uh, she's never done anything like this before. Um, and she's been playing games recently. And I'll take your puppy line. You've Thank got that you. one lovely. And you keep rewarding her. She's doing amazing stuff. So she's hopped back on the boundary. So I want everybody who is here to look at how... This is a 12 year old dog and I saw a 12 year old dog yesterday and I was talking to the owner and I thought that dog looked about 17, mm. looked maybe 18. It looked old, it looked really old. And I think that our dogs age when we stop playing games. But I also think we as people age when we stop having fun. Yes. Right? And we stop being, um, I suppose young, right? Like we're doing young things. And so for me, when I watch her, I love that she's so vibrant and so attentive. And do you think she's having more fun when she earns food like this? 100%. And do you think she'd be disappointed to have food in a bowl? I think so, yes. Because she loves it. I don't think, I don't think she will actually want to do it. I think she will come to me to ask to do Let's games do with her. Yeah. And you've got a young dog, right? So your young yes. dog is just one? Yes. And when you play with a young dog, do you think she can get FOMO and feel like she's oh, missing out? Definitely, yes. And so do you feel better when you play games with her? Yes. So for, I think for longevity, for health, for wellness, we've started with an older dog. And the reason we've started with an older dog is I want you to see that teaching an old dog is absolutely possible. And let's not let her hear that. <laughs> She's not an old dog. She's just a baby. She's literally a baby. Um, but she, teaching an older dog, it's really possible. It's really doable. Is she having more fun since you've done this? Yes. And I love that we're working there. So in a second, we're going to go to our next student. And our next student's a younger dog, a one-year-old dog. And we're going to go from very little Oops. because games do work. Your dogs are all little, right? How many Yorkshire okay. Terriers do you have, Martina? I've got three Yorkies. You have three Yorkshire Terriers and you also have a... Working Cocker. A Spaniel. Yeah. yeah. So you have literally the three Yorkies and, and the Spaniel. Spaniel. And she's the oldest? She's the oldest. Oh, Tilly, she's the oldest. And before we head to our next student, I want everyone to know that t training tiny dogs, is it possible? Yes. And does it work with games? Yes. So just to recap, she's played a little bit of food follow. She's played some lefts and some rights. And when you do lefts and rights, you're gonna do nose to? Tail. Nose to tail. And then in addition to that, she's also played a little bit of? Middle. And what does middle help with? Uh, concentration. Uh, and when the squirrel's there, what does it yeah, allow you to do? It lets me to get her and hold her. <laughs> get her and hold her. Yeah, exactly. Get hold of her. And then she's played boundaries to finish. Yes. Yeah. Really well done. Really Thank lovely. You. She's amazing and you're doing a great job. Well done, Thanks. Martina. So we're going to head over to our next student. And our next student, let's hop him straight onto that table, in fact. We're going to pop him on the table because he's already looking at that Yorkshire Terrier and he's thinking, wow, she looks fun. Now, when you've got a big dog, 
do you get away with as much as you would when you have a small dog? Yeah. No. So when he wants to bark at someone or something or a dog or a squirrel or chase something, are people forgiving with big dogs? In the comments, guys, are people forgiving with big dogs? Are people forgiving with big dogs? Yes or no? Are people forgiving with big dogs? Yes, guys, or no? Are people forgiving with big dogs? Yes or no? No. no. They're absolutely not forgiving. And you can see why he's a big dog, right? Like he is a big dog. So one thing that he's been working on is settling. Is that right? Yeah. Say so settling. So he's settling right now. And it's not necessarily a boundary here. It is really a settle space. So you could use this. You could use when you're out. You could use a bench. You could use uh, a rock. You could use um, uh, a sort of step up. You could use anything. And does this help him, Tia? Absolutely. Yeah. And how does it help him? I mean, like, if he's always got his eyes on me. Yeah. And then and you can reward him there. That's lovely. And how old is he? Just so everyone knows. <laughs> he's just one, right? So he's just one. He had a steak for his birthday, I hear. Yeah. Did he like it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're going to break him off. We're going to bring him over this way. We're going to do exactly the same, but without the table. Because most people, when they go for a walk, they don't have a table. So, what we nice. And you're going to reward that between his legs. And who really likes this game, guys? Because I absolutely love this game. And you're going to reward him as often or as frequently as you want to. And I'm also going to say drop your lead. So, we're going to drop your lead. Because we're in a fairly safe space yeah. and it's a good training environment. Right, so drop one every now and again, and you're going to pop it nicely between his legs. And guys, if you would like this, so if you would like this as your behaviour, you can do exactly the same as T has, and you've just played games to build this, right? Yeah. So it's all, all been built. And how enthusiastic is he as a dog, and how powerful is he as a dog, and how strong is he as a dog? Really powerful. Can yeah. he pull you over? Yeah. Yes, very easily. And really, he would be bred to do sort of operational work, right? Like, um, like effectively, I suppose, police work and detection work and getting hold of people work, right? And is he allowed to do that in his day-to-day? -day? And is it appropriate that he does that in his day-to-day? -day? No. So what he really needs to do is um, be, be, um, be super, super calm and super, super responsive to the environment. Now, I've just heard that your mic is off, so I need you to maybe just do, do like a switching of it. So we're gonna check that in a minute. I don't know, let me just double check for you because this is all fun, isn't it? No, not sure what's wrong with that. It just says low battery. So not sure what we do, but I'll stand nice and close to you. And when you speak, you're gonna speak really loud so everyone can hear you. So we're gonna break him off. You're gonna throw a piece of food away and then you're gonna come and stand over this way. And we're gonna see that he comes back to us to do that again. If he doesn't for any reason, all we're going to do, nice. So you can tell him he's, that's a really nice job there. Really nice. Now feed him between the legs. Now at home, guys, who would like this with their dogs? Because I love this. Guys who are listening over here, would you like this with your dogs? Yes or no? Yeah. Oh, that was enthusiastic. <laughs> guys at home and guys in the room, would you like this with your dog? A parking effectively. Yes or no? Yes or no? So this is gorgeous. Okay, we're going to do that again. We're going to throw away and we're gonna let him come back in again. So we're gonna stand still, and when he comes back in, really nice, and we're gonna let him park himself, really lovely. And when we reward him, we're gonna reward him in position. Now, do we want duration, or do we want him moving constantly? Which one are we going for? Duration. So if we're feeding for duration, you're gonna feed calmly between the legs. Yeah. So calmly between the legs when you want to, I love it, as you drop it. <laughs> and again, calmly between the legs. Really, really nice job, really nice job. Okay, one more, we're gonna throw it away. And as he comes back in, you're going to reward him for duration. Yeah, and away. Nice. And let's see what he decides. And this is really important. I don't want Tia nagging him. I don't want Tia sort of grabbing him and having to pull him. What I really love there, Tia, is you let him choose. Yeah. And he's choosing right. And is it hard for a 12 month old puppy? Because he's a big puppy, if you look at him. And show some love for Finley, guys, because he's one of my favourite dogs. I just love him. I think he's absolutely gorgeous. I think he's a lovable goof. Like, I think he's a real big goof, isn't he? Yeah. I bet he was shocked to get steak for his dinner. Yeah, he was. was. <laughs> <laughs> um, and when I watch him, I just think he's so expressive and so lovely. But he's also real trouble if he gets in, like, the wrong spaces, isn't yeah. he? Because he's, he's enthusiastic about everything. Yeah. Would he chase a squirrel? Definitely. Would he chase a person? Yeah. Would he chase a dog? Yeah. Yeah, he's got all those things in the vicinity. And is he choosing to do those things, yes or no, at the moment? Sometimes. Sometimes, right. And when he's choosing those things, do you feel like you've got some good tools now to work with? Yeah. And so he's, is he getting better? Definitely. Yeah, yeah. and I love that. I yeah. really love that. So, guys, do you have any questions about Finley's training? Do you have any questions at all about what we're doing here? And do you have any questions about the learning stage he's at? Because I love this, and I think this is a really good part of what we train here at Absolute Dogs. If you like it, guys, please, please share it, because we want people all over the world to know about exactly how we train a dog like Finley to settle. Now, is he earning his dinner? Yeah. 
Absolutely. Okay, we're going to do one more of those, throw them away, see what he chooses. And we're going to move when we do it as well. So we're going to move. Nice. Can we move this way? Nice. And then stand still, really settled. Let's just see what he chooses to do. Really lovely, boy. gorgeous boy. Really gorgeous boy. Absolutely lovely. Are you happy with him? Definitely. Yeah, I yeah. absolutely love it. So before we get our next dog ready, because we're about to head over to our next student, I wonder if you guys can guess who's coming next. Keep feeding, keep feeding, keep feeding. That's gorgeous. So before we have our next dog ready, and I'd love you guys to guess. If you guess, there could be a prize. So there could be a prize. And you're getting a lot of love to you. They are loving what you're doing. So keep feeding keep feeding and that's because another dog will come into the arena and that's important that we reward yeah. him for not choosing to decide that the other dog's his business yeah. because the other dog is not what we want him to focus on we want him to stay focused on you and whilst i don't mind him checking the fact nice feed Good job. whilst i don't mind him checking the fact there's another dog walking into the building what i don't want him to do is make it his mission yeah. and guys tell us in the comments if you've got a reactive dog so tell us if you've got a reactive dog because if you've got a reactive dog this can be a moment of them going crazy now we call our reactive dogs naughty but nice yep. have you seen naughty but nice dogs around in yeah, general have you time. have you do you own a naughty but nice dog yeah you, you actually own a dog who wants to bite me right yeah. are we going to bring her up later definitely yes we are um so um he's getting loads of love he's getting loads and loads of love everyone loves finley everyone thinks finley is doing great things um, and so everyone's really happy with what you're doing keep doing it tia great job high five We've got a lovely slobbery high five this is good uh, reward that lovely and good did you job. see that moment guys this is for those of you that have got your dmt card nice good job that is dmt moment right so distraction yeah. mark treat so we've seen a distraction he's actually seen the other dog in the room and i want you guys to guess who it's not the jack russell they're guessing the jack russell it's not the jack russell and um, so he's seen the other dog in the room nice good boy you're marking him for looking away and you should have this card guys if you registered for this live you should have the free card that tells you how to play this game so it's distraction mark treat he's going to look over there in a second when he looks over there you're going to mark him and you're going to treat him so even a little ear flick you yeah. can mark those okay. um, so when he does it you can be like nice nice okay. because he is noticing there's another dog in the building tell good me boy. in the comments guys if you've got a dog who notices other dogs so if you've got a dog because, and do you own a dog that notices other dogs <laughs> yeah definitely <laughs> definitely and what does she do she stalks it she lunges she, reward that yeah. nice good, job. good boy good, good job. boy good boy is he entire so is yeah. he entire so he is entire and so when another entire dog comes in the building because i can tell you that's an entire dog in the building we've got two entire dogs in the building what we mean by that is a not castrated dog so he is literally he's only a baby so he's just 12 months old so he's still very young to castrate and so for me what i really really love nice good, good boy is he's still doing a great job now when you leave in a minute and this is a top tip rather than take him dog to dog and these guys haven't guessed my next dog yet so they haven't guessed my next dog i love this dog too he's getting loads of love um, and i love him when you leave the building you're going to put him on that side of you nice good, good boy job. you're going to put him on that side of you okay. rather than this side because then he doesn't walk dog to dog okay. does that make good sense job. nice because the guys at home they can't see how close we are but we're actually quite close to yeah. another very big dog aren't we yeah. probably his size yeah. I wonder if they're guessing who it is yet. Anyway, I'm going to go over and train our next victim. Uh, you are going to do a great job at getting him out. When you take him out, take him on the other side of you. Okay. Cool? Yeah. Nice. Good boy. Good job. Good really job. nice job, Tia. Show Tia some love, guys, because Tia is doing an amazing, amazing job. So, for those of you, nice, reward that. Really lovely, love day. Um, so, reward that. So, for those people who haven't yet guessed, mm -hmm. what breed of dog are we working he with? He is a Siberian Husky. He's a Siberian Husky, and yes. he is a gorgeous <laughs> Siberian Husky. Exactly. He is like, he's like marriage material. <laughs> like, look at him. Look at him. I Honestly. Yeah, yeah, so, I, like, I have a funny talk? moment. The other day, uh, Matt came in, and I was literally talking away to Tokyo, and you can keep feeding him for being on the boundary. He's doing a great job. Good and boy. as I was talking away, and I was like, you are so gorgeous. And Matt was like, why, thank you. And I was like, no, no, Tokyo. No, 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 come Tokyo. on, there's obviously the dog. Let's be real. <laughs> um, okay, so what do you struggle with with him? Oh my gosh, um, getting him to focus on me. Um, it, the environment nice. is so very important to him. Yep. So as soon as we're out on a walk, it's all about what's going on around him. Is there anything that he can chase? Is, you know, he would run off if he possibly could. And what do Siberian Huskies want to chase? Oh, yeah, any small furry Either. thing. Or indeed, big, big furry thing. Any furry yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any furry Absolutely, thing. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so we're going to play the orientation game. Yes. Why is the orientation? game good for him oh my gosh it has changed our lives it really has it really has um it gets him focused on me it gets him engaged Deeper. and wanting to work nice. um it makes sure that his head's in the right space before we do any other work or well any other done. training before we go on a walk nice. i know that he is listening to me really good. Um, and he's able to um not pay attention to even if it's in the front garden nice. to what good is going boy. on 
And those of you that are thinking maybe Loveday's feeding a lot here, this yeah. is his dinner. It is, And yeah. this is a hard environment. Yes. Right, he's got yeah. a lot of people in here. Yeah. Are there a lot of people in here? <laughs> there are a lot of people in here. Uh, was there another entire male dog over there a minute yeah, ago? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And is that something that he could be bothered oh, by? Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely he would notice that so and he would want to check that he's out. He's doing a great job, right? He so is, yeah. orientation game, this is really yes. important. Mechanics and how you play yeah. it and your timing. Yeah. yeah. So when you feed him, feed right between his legs. Really yeah, nice. Yeah. So you're going to have his attention. You're going to mm -hmm. bowl it out mm -hmm. and it's going to be like moving like it's fun, right? It's Thank really you. fun. He's like, yes, it is lovely. <laughs> When he's moving, he's going to pick up his head. At that moment, you're going to mark him. Yeah. You're going to say a yes or a Breaking nice bed. or a something that's going to mark him. So you're mm -hmm. going to mark him. Feed him in position between the legs, calmly and slower. So okay. calmer and slower. And one piece, not three. Yeah, yeah. okay. <laughs> um, you're going to throw out like that. As he goes out to get it, he picks up his head. He looks. You're going to mark yeah. it with nice and mm -hmm. tell him what a super job it is. Yeah. As he does that, you're going to be quick to throw <laughs> in the other direction. Yes. You're going to stay in this vicinity here. Mm -hmm. And that's largely because he's like, I am telling he's you what to do, love day. Get on with it. To work. Um, and so what I want to see is your timing's really good. Now, yeah. guys that are listening at home, who feels their timing sometimes off? Tell me if you feel your timing sometimes off. And if you haven't already, guys, share this live because we want more people to see it. And in addition to sharing the live, the other thing I'm going to ask you to do is pop squirrel in the comments mm -hmm. so you can get the live um, notes because we've got some really cool, like special notes for you. Feed him in between his legs. And the reason we're feeding between his legs is we actually want to feed for some duration here. Um, so pop squirrel in the comments or if you're listening to us on YouTube, because I know a lot of you are listening on YouTube, you should have a link. So someone's going to share it right now. Anyway, we're heading over here. Right. Are Let's you ready? Let's do it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I love Break. it. Are, are <laughs> you ready? He says, yes, <laughs> like, I'm ready. He's like, come on, Over let's this play. Way. Let's, let's play, see let's this play. game. Are you right for me to drop the lead? Or do you I think you can drop the lead. I, think, hey, I don't it. think he's going let's anywhere right it. now. Let's see I don't it. Know. Throw him out. Okay. Now, notice, guys, he's got a long line on. You can go for it. And I love your sparkly shoes. Let's come back this way. Yes. Nice. Good boy. And Mark. Yes. Nice. Quicker with the mark. Nice. Yes. Good boy. Really nice. Yes. Good boy. Yes. Nice. Now, when you're doing that throw, you can be really animated. Yes. Nice. That's better. Much better. Yes. Really nice. Now, pick the line up straight to the bed. Good boy. Straight nice. to the bed. Fast Done. to the bed. bed. Really quick. Keep it fun. Bed, 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 bed. Keep it really fun. Because yeah. you can see how that could become punishing for him, just the mm. picking up the line. Mm. So that was really good. Now, what I particularly liked there was how animated he was. Mm. So we're going to do one more round like that. Yeah. And what I really want you to do is the second he looks up, I yeah. want you to look as animated as he does. Okay. He literally looks sexier yeah. than a squirrel. Right? <laughs> yeah. But I want you to look sexy than a squirrel. Okay. All right, and at then. the moment, you're kind of like mid-sexy. Okay. Right? And All I know right, you then. can do real sexy. And you want me to be super excited. I mean, <laughs> love day, Penelope Fox. We've said. <laughs> before oh, it's either a porn star or a movie star yeah, right so yeah, we're yeah. going with we're going with really going sexy really sexy porn star <laughs> right okay Merlin you ready are you first? ready we're ready steady right, out break. that way nice three <laughs> two and that's the thing guys when you're playing with your dogs <laughs> at home you really yes. do need to be able to combat the environment and the environment yes. can be really hard <laughs> nice that was good really nice let him yes. find good good boy yes. nice good boy oh, good, let go, him go, see go, it. good lad one more and then you're going to run him to the bed. Yes. Nice. Now run and let him find like, it. Good, 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 good. That's fine. <laughs> good, <laughs> boy. good boy. Really good. And then hop him on. Good boy. Now that looked more animated. And yeah. I know that he, lo or he looks way more animated than he did mm. six weeks ago. Oh, yes. Right? He's, yeah, he's, yeah. he's getting better and better. Yeah, he is. And are you getting more attention from him? Definitely. It's, it's and really would you tangent. say they're an easy breed to work with no. or they're quite hard to work no. with? No. He, when we first started working with him and I came here, he refused to work. Literally, he would just lie down and say, no, I'm not doing anything you say. No. So, <laughs> and and really, if you really needed worse. to, would you have to kind of drag him? Yeah, 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 totally. And be like, no, no, bed, not lovely. interested, not interested, not interested. So it's been quite the journey. And do you feel like you've got him on board much more oh now? Oh my gosh, I mean, well, just look at it. Just look at it. He loves to work. He was action prompting. He wants. He wanted to work. Come on, love it. He's let's like, come go. on, let's play games. Let's play games. He's looking amazing. We love the orientation game. Does it help with recall? Oh yes. Does oh, it help yes. with relationship? Oh yes. Does it help with actually feeling like you are part of his world? Oh yeah. yeah and definitely. could it be that he's in his own world sometimes? Oh, uh, he will check out and do his own thing. And that is yes. husky. And that is really husky. And a lot of breeds, <laughs> to be fair. But, it is yeah. a lot of breeds. And and yeah. for sure, huskies are one of those. Bed. I would say they sit on the slightly more challenging yeah. scale. So yeah. before we go to our next dog, because because we are heading to our next dog mm. and I hope someone can guess who our <laughs> next dog is because I'd love someone to guess who our next dog is. Our next dog is a very red colour. So I don't know if you guys can guess, our next dog
dog is a very red colour and also an adolescent male dog. And if you've got an adolescent male dog <laughs> or an adolescent dog, uh, please tell us because adolescence is not always mm. fun, mm -mm. right? Whether it's mm -mm. human, dog, cat, like adolescence can be fun. Yeah. Feed again. Yeah. Yeah, good really, boy. really lovely. Yeah, um, and guys, I hope you've loved seeing him. Reward Merlin. there. Good, good boy. boy. And then we've got another dog coming in, another big dog. Yeah. So there's another yeah, big yeah. dog. I'd love you to guess who it is. The dog is a red dog. So the dog is a red good dog. Um, now, He's doing fantastically. Yeah. Are you excited about where this goes next? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Can't wait for the next steps. I and thank it. you so much for Games Club, too. Because, Aww. oh, my gosh. Are you enjoying Games Club? We are on there every day, just looking for something new to do or a problem to solve. And we have the best fun doing it. I so love it. I love it. And I think for those people that don't know about Games Club, because obviously you are part of Games Club. Yeah. If you ever feel lost and you're at home and you're training and you yeah. haven't got anything to maybe look at, yeah. does Games Club help? It really does because especially when we've been we've been part of this world for a while, we play the same games. We play the games we love and you need something new. You and need what to keep is Games Club? Up. I mean, Games Club is just a, a very big list of the most amazing games and dog training for absolutely every problem. And can you see have. the video? Oh yeah. Oh, and yeah, do you yeah. feel like you're learning one-to-one? -one? Yes. Oh, yes, definitely. Because there's, there's troubleshooting on there too. It's not just um, watch the game and play the game. It's like, okay, if you have this problem, you can do this. Now, it's, I know this you've relocated yes. to this area. I have, but before yes. you lived in this area, yeah. Did it make it much easier to train from it home really feed that? It really, really did. What I'm so happy with is we have got literally very big dogs yeah. that possibly can be reactive together yeah. and they're in a very yeah. close space yeah. environment yeah. and they're doing amazing. He's not even thing. looking. Like just He's amazing. And this looking. is a dog who would have always potentially... Was, he would have dragged me over there. Quite happily would have dragged me like over Like literally there. so yeah. brilliant. So yeah. brilliant. So yeah, basically if anyone was thinking whether they wanted to join, whether that's sexy and a squirrel with us, whether yes. that's games club with us, yes. what would you say? Oh, they do it, do it, do it. Do it now. Love it. Do <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. And how many dogs do you have, love day? I have four at the moment. Uh, I love it. I have four at the moment. <laughs> And you well, are currently looking at a rescue dog, aren't you? I'm currently looking at a rescue dog, yeah. Um, so I can't wait to help you. Yeah. I can't wait to see more of you. Amazing Good boy, job. No. I'm going to head over to our next student. Yes. Great job. Thank Love you it. very much. Really well done. <laughs> really well done. OK, so we are heading to the lovely Amber. Now, Amber, have I ever trained him before? Personally? No, no I've never trained him personally. Reward no. him, he's doing great. What sort of problems does he have? Uh, he loves life and wants to say hello to everything. He's an enthusiast. Everybody. Roald Dahl talks about enthusiasts. Reward Absolutely. him there. And even me being this close, can yeah. that be hard for him? Yeah. Yeah, so I'm definitely I'm, I'm wants a lot. to say hello to you. <laughs> yeah, I'm a lot. <laughs> now, I've heard he also can be a little bit barky. Yes. What sort of things would he bark at? And guys, tell us in the comments if your dog's a bit barky. <laughs> so tell us if your dog's a bit barky. Yeah. And also, if you haven't already, pop squirrel in the comments or check out the link in the comments where you can get super cool notes that are going to help you uh, to level up in distractions because we've got some super cool notes for you. Now, what sort of things would trigger him to bark? Um, just if he thinks I'm not working here enough. So he likes to tell so you like he wants, Yeah, he wants to be doing does stuff. He, so, so does he tell you to do stuff yeah. all the time? Is he all that type of dog? Absolutely. Is he a smart dog? Very. And is he a dog that sometimes you could feel worried about letting off lead? Yes. Nice. Really good, good job. Boy. He's doing a great job. And he's very handsome, by the way. And how old is he? Three. He's three. And for him, does that, for a um, Hungarian Vigila, does that sort of end up being like an older dog, a younger dog, an adolescent dog? Oh, like they, do not, they do not grow up quickly. They don't grow up, right? <laughs> and so I remember one of my first students over 20 years Good ago point. was a Vishla and what a learning curve that was. Yeah. Very bright, very action prompty, very sort of fast forward, everything. Now, one of the games you use to get his attention, and I know you've played this lots and lots with him, is Paint the Town Red. Yeah. So we're gonna have a go at Paint the Town Red. And with Paint the Town Red, our whole goal is that we have his attention when things might get difficult. And what things might get difficult for him? Other dogs. Other dogs. Um, chasing anything. Squirrels, okay. cats. Squirrels, <laughs> cats. I love it. They're all on his agenda. Uh, and so anything like that could be hard. And guys, in the comments, tell us if your dog is like this. I love it. Kay says, Irish setter. So some of you guys have got Irish setters. I, that was my very first breed. So my first breed was an Irish setter. And he definitely thinks the environment is fun, even in here. Yeah. Right? It's, it's fun even in here. And he's still very new to this type of environment. Yeah. Right? So let's have a go with yeah. it. Yeah. So we're going to paint the town red. And when you <laughs> have him, you. you can keep the lead at first and you can yeah. drop it when you're happy. So I'm happy for you to do that come in a little bit more you don't have to be shy and guys show us some love because it's really really vulnerable putting yourself up like this to be watched and uh, effectively critiqued on online so whether you're listening on um, YouTube or whether you're on um, maybe uh, Facebook with us uh, do show lovely Amber and a gorgeous boy some love so 
That's lovely mechanics, Amber. He's on your hand. And there might be another dog walking over here, let's say. There might be another <laughs> dog walking over here. Uh, can someone run me a, um, a stuffed dog? I'd love a stuffed dog and a double lead. Stuffed dog and a double lead. Uh, and I'm, I'm sorry, boy, if this is going to be a lot for you. I imagine it will be interesting. <laughs> um, but I really, really like sometimes, or a stuffed pony, I'll, either will do. <laughs> Um, and I really, really like the idea that actually we throw in some sort of distractions, yeah. but not really difficult distractions. So I'm going to get my stuffed dog. Uh, he's got slightly odd gait, so he kind of moves like a rocking horse. Um, and that for me would be a nice way of just saying, keep working. Do you see him notice that one? Lovely, really nice. And that sort of thing is exactly uh, the sort of thing that can distract them, right? He's like, I'd like to bite his legs, actually. <laughs> Um, and that's exactly the type of thing that can distract them. And this is a dog on a, a stuffed dog on a double lead. So it's a stuffed dog on a double lead. There is nothing difficult about this to us. But for him, it's tough, right? It's really tough. That's gorgeous. And your Paint the Town Red is gorgeous. So really gorgeous. Boy. Nice reward. And he's seen a person go into your Paint the Town Red. So your Paint the Town Red is a game, nice, really nice, is a game that effectively gives him a job when the environment gets tough. Does that make sense? Nice. That makes sense. Yes, good boy. I'm going to leave my dog. He's got a great stay. Pop him back on the boundary here, Amber, because I can already see you're good working job. really hard and Amber's not actually breathing right now. <laughs> so Amber, stop breathing. It's like me doing yoga. I don't breathe um, and you're supposed to breathe. So um, and I can definitely see that it's a lot hard for work. even just you. Yeah. You're like, oh, it's hard work <laughs> and, and you're doing great. So guys, show Amber some love because she's doing absolutely wonderfully. And you, did you notice, Amber, as soon as he saw this little dog distraction, mm. did he change? Yeah. And would he like to have uh, sort of played with the little dog yeah. and rolled around Absolutely, with it and grabbed yeah. its leg? And, and is that appropriate when you're out walking? Nope. <laughs> and sometimes the dogs he goes to speak to. My dog the other day, we were on the moors, went around the corner and there were three border collies and I didn't see them there and the border collies didn't see me either. She definitely, definitely got told by one of the border collies on no certain terms was she supposed to go over anywhere near yeah. them. And whose responsibility is it when he's off lead? He's mine. He's your responsibility. Yeah. And sometimes can that feel like a big responsibility? Nice reward yeah. that. It does, right? And does it feel like the environment's challenging? Yeah, really. Paint the town red, brilliant game mm. for you. Brilliant game for him. Are you enjoying playing games? Yeah, love yeah. it. Yeah, he, honestly, he does so well with it. I love it. I love it. Such now, a lovely boy. Sex in a Squirrel, yeah. uh, a course that, um, like I said, over 100,000 people have taken Sex in a Squirrel in some capacity, um, sometimes through rescue centres, some sometimes through um, sometimes through gifting, sometimes through uh, the fact they've bought it. Uh, literally, lots and lots of people have taken Sex in a Squirrel. Have you taken Sex in it's a Squirrel? It's where we started with him. It's where we started. Yeah. Lovely. Reward him again. That's so good. What a good boy. Yeah. Now, so helpful. I've got really exciting news. And we have completely updated Sex and Squirrel. And Ooh. feed again, nice. Good boy. Good boy, get, get it. it, get it, good boy. We've completely updated it. And I've got lots of people who have talked about it and telling, how are we feeling excited about that, guys? We've yeah. completely updated. <laughs> it's, a, it's a version 3.0, brand spanking new, completely updated. Have I got a wow? Woo! We've got a wow in the room. We've got a wow in the room. So what I'm going to do, rather than talk to you about it and rather than talk to everyone here about it, I'm actually going to let one of our students talk about it. So we're going to head to one of our students uh, who's talking about it and who's actually going to tell people a little bit more uh, about yeah. Sex in a Squirrel because I know for dogs like him, yeah. is it game changer? Absolutely. Yeah. And do you feel more confident as an owner? Yeah, so much And do you more. still think there's a lot to learn? So much, yeah. <laughs> He's got and, many, many things to learn. And is he a lot of dog? Is so he a lot much. of dog? <laughs> so much hard work. So you've got a lot of dog, but you definitely feel a bit more armed. Yeah. Now, I love working with you, Amber. You've got a great attitude. Like I said, I've never trained him before. Mm. I definitely have spoken to yeah. you before, and I'm really happy you're doing it. We're going to head to Good one boy. of our students talking about Sex in a Squirrel, and I can't wait to see what you think of this programme. Are walks with your dog a little stressful? Do they find the environment with all its smells, bunnies, the neighbor's cat, squirrels, muddy puddles, dogs, other distractions, you name it, a bit too exciting? Maybe you have a dog who loves to hang out with you at home, barely leaves your side, and thinks you're the best thing since sliced bread or sliced sausage. But you step out the door into the big wide world and it's a whole different story. Suddenly it's as if you don't exist. The world is calling and you just don't quite match up to all the excitement. Perhaps your dog is a social butterfly, always on the lookout for another dog to play with, deaf to your desperate attempts to get them to come back. Maybe birds or wildlife are your dog's ultimate distraction. 
Perhaps your dog is the one that raids other people's picnics or always finds what's discarded and half eaten. Maybe that burger or the pizza dropped at the side of the road. Or maybe yours is the dog who drags you from the lamppost to the next lamppost, leaving you feeling like you literally are just the person holding the other end of the lead desperately at that. Restricting their choices, holding them back and literally taking them away from all of the fun. The world entices your dog with so many incredible choices and chances. It can make that dog owning dream of stress free walks feel such a long way off, maybe even out of reach. The thing about the environment is it's truly unpredictable and therefore exciting. It taps into your dog's natural instincts and gives them endless opportunities for fun and rewarding experiences. Experiences that literally leave you well and truly out of the picture. Your dog never quite knows when a squirrel is going to whiz across the path in front of them, shake its bushy little tail and invite them to chase. Or when a bird literally dips in front of a dog, or this could be a rabbit, another dog, your next door neighbour's cat, you get the idea. Something's going to appear and provide them with an amazing experience and that can feel pretty hard to compete with most of the time. Now imagine a walk where your dog chooses you over all the distractions. Squirrels, what squirrels? Other dogs? Nope, you got this. Your dog only has eyes for you. Sound good? Pretty great even. What if you could grasp hold of that dream and make it your reality, all by playing simple, fun, effective games designed to teach your dog to ignore distractions, power up their recall, boost your relationship and show your dog that you really are the source of all the best fun, regardless of what sexy diversions and excitement and experiences come in your way. Literally, whatever the environment is trying to tempt them with, you've got this. The truly great news is that yes, you can. You really can transform your walks, conquer those distractions and be at the center of your dog's world. How cool is that? Real life results really are possible and achievable, regardless of your dog's age, breed or history. And we'd love to show you exactly how Share your dog's ultimate distractions in the comments and let us know what you want to be sexier than. Why not join us on a journey to transformation with our Sexier Than a Squirrel Dog Training Challenge? Are you ready to be sexier, more exciting and way more fun to your dog than any distraction the environment can offer? Wow, you guys. Well, we didn't quite head to a student. We headed to exactly what the Sexy Than a Squirrel course is all about. And I absolutely love the fact, and I think we should celebrate the fact that we're version 3.0, a brand new Sexy Than a Squirrel, an updated Sexy Than a Squirrel. Because what we realised is that not only Se Sexy Than a Squirrel, I don't know if you guys know where Sexy Than a Squirrel came from. Sexy Than a Squirrel started during lockdown. So during COVID, we started started sexy and squirrel and please hang around we have got five more dogs to train and six more breeds so six breeds we have six dogs to train we're training one of my dogs too uh, and so you're going to get to see my dog at the end so my dog at the end with some crazy distractions you know what dinosaur galore there really are some distractions coming for my dog so you're going to get to see one of my dogs work at the end and you're also going to see five more of my students working so from labradoodles to a biting a frenchie to a dalmatian to a jack Russell Terrier we've got more dogs for you tell us if you're excited about that because I really am what I'm really really happy about and I really would love you to celebrate this with version 3.0 sexy and a squirrel has gone out to over a hundred thousand dog owners worldwide it's been shared worldwide and please share it if you haven't already and please comment squirrel in the comments if you haven't already to get your free resources and the cool thing is that this is a brand new updated version because what we've realized is there's even more practical there's even more real life base that we need to cover to enable you to really beat that squirrel to beat the bunny to beat the literally half eaten ham burger the skateboarder the jogger whoever is difficult in that environment for you and your dog and tell us in the comments what your challenge is my border collie easy hers would most certainly be something like um i would say 
sheep moving or uh, something racing, something running around, something fast. Agility dogs, she would love those. Whereas I would say my little cocker spaniel Blink, some of you might have seen her show her some love. She's the most amazing little dog. She would definitely be distracted by tennis balls and scent. So scent would be her distraction. She wouldn't even notice a jogger. They wouldn't come into her, uh, her agenda. So they're just not part of what she likes. So tell us what's your dog's distraction because it's great to know what your dog's distraction is. And if you've taken sex in a squirrel in the past, please tell all of the people here what Sexy and the Squirrel has done for you and your dog. Because for me, it's life-changing, it's game-changing. Easy, I couldn't get her back. She wouldn't come near me. She was a dog who would just run in the distance and chase stuff. And now she literally is the best dog to walk. She's the coolest dog to walk. You can have her close at any time. So literally um, crazy. So over 100,000 people, literally guys, we know what we're doing. We've done it before. We've seen your problem. We're going to see it again. Nothing is unique here. We literally know exactly exactly what we're tackling. When I say that, nothing is unique. I mean, your dog training struggle will not be unique to our trainer team. Our trainer team will have seen this before. With over 100,000 students going through the programme, we know your struggle. We know your struggle and we know we can tackle it together. So Sex and Squirrel, guys, is a brand new course. It's never, ever been released before in this format. So brand new course, really cool resources that go alongside it. The normal price is £97 and right now it's 27 pounds now i know you guys are asking how do i get hold of it what do i do where do i sign up and what i'm going to say is um that you really 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 if you want to get hold of it uh, it's on the screen it's on the screen it's on the screen i can't see the screen but i've been told it's on the screen so it's on the screen it's there for you now the cool thing is if you're part of games club tell us if you're part of games club now, Games Club is our Netflix of dog training. Literally, if you want a game, there is a game for that. If you're part of Games Club, it is in Games Club. So it's in Games Club right now, and it's already there for you. And please, please, please stay with us because we're about to do some dog training, and we've got five more student dogs to train, and we're also going to train one of my dogs. And so if you're already part of Games Club, it's going to be in Games Club. And it's going to be in Games Club. I think it's in Games Club right now. Is it in Games Club right now? It's in Games Club right now. Brand new course, brand new footage, completely refilmed. It's going to be there for you. If you're not part of Games Club, the cool thing is Sex and Squirrel, £27, literally just £27, one off fee, it's yours. If you're not in Games Club, that is one option for you. However, you could also join Games Club and it's part of Games Club with a whole host of other things. Let me just read off a couple of the things that are in Games Club. You've got 450 games, you've got nifty solutions, you've got the calm course, you've got boundary games, you've got real life boundaries, you've got 10 days to stop pulling, you've got 10 days to stop stealing, you've got 10 days to stop jumping. I can't even open the next page. You've got a lot of things in Games Club. So Games Club really is action packed. Oh my goodness, you've got 10 days to stop barking, you've got sex in a squirrel, the brand new course course you've got community support you've got live dog training you've got relationship success you've got weekly newsletters you've got struggle focused resource packs you've got struggle to solutions you've got oh my god i can't there's too much it's action packed so you've got the choice right now you could get hold of sex and squirrel for just 27 pound or you could sign up to our games club for just 30 pounds a month and the cool thing is everything is on the screen for you right everything you need is on the screen for you you can click those links you can get involved right now and we would love to see you there it's a brand new course and those of you that have already taken the course you might be asking i've already bought it i've bought it in the past do i get this course how does it work do i need to sign up you get it for 50 percent off because you are literally being rewarded by us we love the fact that you've been part of it in the past this brand new footage you will get 50 percent off so the brand new footage you'll get 50 percent off you need to be logged in is what i've been told you need to be logged in anyway we've got loads more dog training for you so we've got loads more dog training for you i'm about to head back downstairs shall we hear about maybe some of our students experience what i thought i was sending you to a minute ago some of our students experience of sex in a squirrel because i think it'd be nice to hear from our students i'm heading downstairs and i've got five more breeds for you i'm excited about our five new breeds to train and i'm also excited to show you one of my dogs if you haven't already guys make sure you've got the notes and if you want to check out sex in a squirrel our brand new course and if you'd like to check out our games club which actually you get sex in a squirrel and all of those other things please 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 it's a good time to check it out i'm heading over to a student and i'm popping downstairs ready to do some more dog training with you
excited to tell you about Absolute Dogs and how they have completely and utterly changed my life. I have Huskies. Huskies are challenging. I have had a nightmare time with them, with the noise, with them jumping up on top of work surfaces, with them pulling me over, escaping out the garden, just out of control. Games are so easy, so much fun, and my dogs engage. They make, make such a difference to them and to me. And we just, yeah, we, we solve these problems. So with the games, we have noticed like massive um, changes in Boomer um, as he's gotten older. Um, we pick up really well when he starts to get a bit bored and a bit um, boisterous around the children or around the house and we can flip him into a game and he will immediately focus. Um, and he has gotten really confident with some of the games, which has really then helped us to move into some of the other games that we play. Um, and he has really learned to settle as well with the calm games that we've been playing with him. He's very much a pacer, um, so when we um, switch on a game, he will focus and he can settle really, really quickly. Or um, explode with excitement and um, play some really cool games. really was a big barker and um, when we found Games Club it just changed our world because actually we could then work on calmness, we could work on boundary games, we could work on her being nice and peaceful and actually now life is so much easier. <laughs>to sleep. So she was a rescue who was about to be put to sleep yeah. and she was going to be put to sleep because she was stressing in a kennel. Yeah. And they couldn't handle her. Couldn't yeah. handle her energy. How old is Marley? She's about eight months. So Marley's about eight months. Guys, show some love for Marley because Marley was going to be put to sleep before these guys got hold of her and literally saved her her whole life, right? Yeah. So her whole life. And she's just a baby. Now, Marley's a lot of dog. Does that make sense? Yeah. When I say a lot of dog, is she clever? Yeah, yeah, very, very, very clever. Feed her there, feed her there again. So we're going to feed her just because someone else barked. And I think that's really appropriate that we reward her for making a good decision. Yeah. For those of you that haven't got your games card, your games card is DMT. It's exactly this game. So does uh, DMT, distraction, mark, treat, feed her there, feed her there. You're such a good girl. So I'm learning tricks. Um, does DMT, <laughs> and guys, show some love for Marley because you've got to love, you've got to love something. She's, she's like theatre darling. Here we go. We're right in front of a camera. We're going to play this game. Feed again, really nice, and feed her between the legs. And then you're going to release her back that way and you're going to reward her for getting back on the table. Free. And she's going to get to play the getting on the boundary. So you're going to get her on the boundary. As soon as she turns around, I want you to definitely like give her a, a verbal and don't, that's it. Wait for it. Wait for it. And she will look. She's just checking out the environment a little bit. And the second she... Nice! Good girl. Good girl. The second she doesn't do that, bring her back. Nicely done. And then Good feed job. her into that down. Really gorgeous. So Good she's girl. learning boundary games, or she's learning table games, or she's learning settle games. And feed her again. She has been in the rescue a very short time. So she's been with these guys a very short time. Uh, she is actually looking for home. Uh, but what I would say the really important part of this is it shows you that even a dog who's done very, very little learning is picking this up nicely. Now, yeah. I've also got my friend here. He's, he's called Jasper. Is she intrigued by someone like Jasper? Feed yeah. her there. She's good very girl. intrigued by Jasper. And Jasper is just a, a model of a dog uh, and he's on a lead. Uh, and you can feed there, nice. Good job. And that's your DMT moment. So it's your distraction, mark, treat. Yeah. So she's on the table, you're using the boundary as a bit of a space to learn. So this is a really great space for her to learn. Release her off and then bring her back to the boundary again. And I've got him quite close. What I could do Free. to make it a little bit easier is I could go Free. between and release her to it. Get it, get it. Ready? Get it, get it. Good girl. Good and then straight, as soon as she gets it, nice, bring her back. Good job. Good girl, Molly. Really good girl. Wait for her to lie down. 
She says, I'm not sure about him. Feed there, you can reward that. That's Good fine. Job. And I would say that she's definitely aware of the environment. She's definitely aware of things going on in here. Really nice. Reward good that. Girl. Good decision. Really good decision. And you can see that she's not 100% sure of even him. Right. And he's just a model stuffed dog. So this isn't a real dog. Nice reward. Good job. And I think this is really important that we acknowledge. Is the real world quite hard for a dog like Marley? Yeah. Feed again. Definitely. Feed again. There's a lot going on in it. Right. But what you can really notice with Marley, good girl. <laughs> good and job. she's loving playing with you. And I can see how much she trusts you, which is absolutely gorgeous to see. And you can also see, although she She's a big dog is she just a puppy yeah so she's, she's just, just a, a baby puppy. she's just a baby <laughs> and guys show some love for marley because you've got to say she is loving and she's loving you and i love what you can see here to you grab your piece of food over there care for you uh, let's not have you fall over okay release her off we're gonna do one more back to the boundary so one more back to the boundary so release her off right. it all of the games that you're seeing us play guys they're all Ready. part of our get courses it. they're all either part of our games club good nice job. and as soon as she turns around nice and back good to this job. one oh good girly she says i'm a little bit tired i've definitely been running around on the beach today you can see that you're a little bit tired and you've done a lot of work and you're just a baby so she's just a baby so before we head to our next dog if you want to get our next dog ready rewarding her here and rewarding her here for being on that one i think that's really important i want you to do more of this work with her tia and you can see maybe when she's not been racing around you can see she's been yeah. doing a lot today i can see yeah. it um but what i would definitely say really nice reward again Job. really nice and um, what i can really say is that distractions like this one are enough for her and so if you haven't already downloaded Good your job. distract mark tree i want everyone to download your distract mark tree and you too tier i want you to download your distract mark tree yeah so you're going to look at that distraction mark tree and for a dog like her who potentially could she be quite reactive potentially definitely yeah yeah it's so, in her to do it and when we say reactive what do we mean what might she do lunge at dogs Rewards. lunge at dogs, dogs stare at dogs stare at dogs anything really and bark at dogs bark i'm gonna say dogs, barking's yeah. high on the malinois agenda yeah. reward there Good and job. that's what she's been bred for yeah and so what we've got to do is we've got to make sure we teach her what's appropriate because will the world like her barking at stuff no no and so these are great games for her to be playing so she's absolutely gorgeous i think she needs a good rest because she definitely looks like she is she's cooked today she looks cooked and i think we've got to acknowledge that she's just a baby and yeah. actually let's not overface her really nice job i'm going to head over to our next dog i'm going to go and see well done tia i'm going to see wonderful freddy now wonderful freddy is a dalmatian some call them damnations and um, and i love freddy um, and what is freddy's struggle so what does freddy struggle with ingrid he's an action prompter he's an action prompter so what does that mean that means if i'm not doing things fast enough if you're not doing something what's he going to do bark at me. tell you yes. so he barks at you so freddy barks a lot um, and actually the other thing he does when he's out and about on a walk is who might he like to see when he's out on a walk everybody and anybody everybody and anybody and does everyone want to see uh, i'm guessing 30 kilo dalmatian no do most people want to see a 30 kilo dalmatian no, no. no. <laughs> so most people don't need a 30 and guys tell us in the comments if if you had a 30 kilo dalmatian run up to you would it scare your dog because i can tell you now i own a lunatic um, like literally mango's a loony like mm. she's a loony if she runs up to another dog they often dislike her mm -hmm. is it good for her when they dislike her no and is it good for your dog when they get disliked no no so it's not good for anyone no um, and you've recently got a younger dog haven't you you've got a new yes. dog and what's your new dog he's a miniature poodle he's a miniature poodle and i insulted him by calling him a cockapoo <laughs> yes didn't i <laughs> So I did insult him by calling him a cockapoo because you were like, no, no, he's a miniature poodle. This is a pedigree miniature poodle. I thought, like, oh, he looks so cute like a cockapoo. Yes. Anyway, um, so we're going to play a game that I think is really useful. We're going to combine games. Who's excited about combining some games? Because I'm quite excited about combining games here. So we're going to play a little bit of middle. We're going to play a little bit of bowling. And then we're going to play middle bowling. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. So before we play, you're going to take off his double lead. And guys, if you haven't got a double lead with your dogs, when you sign up for Sex and Squirrel, and I'm hoping you're going to sign up for Sex and Squirrel because it's a really cool course. It's brand new footage. It's brand new filming. In fact, I think Ingrid's in it. I think you're in some of the footage. Yes. I think most of our students here are in some of the footage. Yes. Um, so it's not just my dogs. It's students' dogs. It's everyone's dogs. Um, so when we play um, all of the games that we've been playing, He's on a long line now, um, and this is a pack, guys. You can get a pack. You can always get cool bonus packs when you sign up. So we've always got cool discounted bonus packs that have got loads and loads and loads of good stuff in them. Uh, so we're switching his leads. He's had a double lead. I love a double lead for him. I think yes. it's a really nice thing. Yeah. But we're now using a long line. Yeah. Does that make you feel safer to let him off lead? <laughs> yes. That's his action prompting, That's isn't it? Prompting. So don't make him feed you. And uh, feed you, you feed him. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny. Uh, drop a piece of food between his legs. Nice. And if you need to, uh, any point and feed again between his legs 
really nice. You're going to release him off now and you're going to go straight into bowling. So you're going to go straight into bowling. So bowling first. Ready? Ready. And bowling a little bit like orientation. You carry on, Ingrid. You're okay. fine. So bowling a little bit like orientation. So we're just going to actually be moving food. And I'm going to keep... Do you see him just sussing out my terrier? Um, nice. So we're just bowling him, yes. bowling him both ways. And this is something that Ingrid can play when he wants to see other dogs in the environment. And she's got this little yes. game up her sleeve. Or, uh, yes, nice boy. Good nice. Boy. Okay, now let's do a middle. So middle. we're going to take him to a middle and feed Good him in boy. middle. Nice. And then you're going to go back to bowling. a bowl again. And now what we're going to do is good and ask him nice to come back into middle. And middle. each time you ask him to do middle, middle, and don't panic, that was really nicely done. Pick your line up. That timing was gorgeous. That timing was gorgeous. Good really good timing. Guys, who's impressed at Ingrid's timing there? I'm impressed at Ingrid's timing. That timing was really good. And he went to go see something. Yes. You did exactly the right thing. Feed him there. Good. And you don't need to panic. I almost want you to show this yes. because this is the stuff that people don't see in grid. Yep. So this is when it goes wrong. Yeah. Right. And who wants to see when it goes wrong? Because I think it's really important when it goes wrong. Simon says, isn't he handsome? And Ingrid's thinking, isn't he a monkey? <laughs> right now, aren't you? Yes. You are thinking <laughs> that. Don't show me up. <laughs> and we're going, yes, Freddie, show the real world what real dog training is. Um, and so it's really good. Yeah. So you're going to do it again. You're not going to throw it quite as far. Okay. Yeah. So you're going to go shorter distances for our middle bowling. Yeah. Three, two, one. Let's go. Really nice. And again. Yes. He's just shaking it off. You're going to not hey, say you. anything. But nice. Go now. Really nice. Don't stand on it. Really nice. Now straight into middle. Middle. Good. Feed there. Yes, good Feed boy. there. And bowl him out. Bowl him out. Really nice. And then bowl him the other way. Really nice. And then into middle. Middle. Good, good boy. boy. The further you throw it, the bigger the challenge. Yes. So the further you throw it, the bigger the challenge. Bowl him out. Move. Okay. Not too far. Okay. Good reward. I've seen him checking out the environment, so be aware of that. He's definitely looking at something up there. There is nothing up there, but he's looking. Ready? Nice. Good boy. Reward yes. there. Reward there. Reward Good. there. Okay, go on. One more out that way. Not too far. Run away from him. Run away. Don't fall over my line. Ready? Nice. <laughs> Don't get panicked. Really Yay, nice. Good boy. good boy. Now, I heard something very different in your voice there. Panic. <laughs> come back, please, Freddie. I'm panicking. <laughs> and you could really hear that you were like, come back, Freddie. Please don't show me up in front of all these people. There are yes. like hundreds of people watching. And lots of people are going to see this. And I don't want you to show me up. I want you to try and keep your voice level. Okay. Yeah, I want you to try and keep your voice level. And uh, if he does go, the worst that's going to happen is we're going to pick his line up. Yeah. Okay. And so it's not, it's not a terrible thing. Ideally, if you set him up for success, but I don't want you panicking either. Okay. okay? Calm, chilled, chilled, zen, yoga. <laughs> Right, when yes. you're ready, middle. You ready? Middle. Nice, bowl him out. Nice, run away, run away, run away. Now ask. Middle. Good boy. Good boy. Really nice. Spin him round, run him back to the bed. Run him back to the bed. You ready? Good. And you can throw a piece. This way. Good boy. Good boy. I'm going to take his extra piece of sausage because he's done very well. That's it. Good boy. That's really nice. Now keep feeding. I'm bringing my terrier up. My terrier's been a bit intrigued actually by the whole thing and um, and so i really like that you're going to scatter feed slowly so you're going to drop pieces of food slowly and you're going to try and drip feed before he action prompts yes. because we know that you've got great food on you is yes. this part of his dinner yes has your off lead life with him changed yes. since doing sex in a squirrel yes definitely. how does it look now compared to how it looked before well now he will stay with me Whereas before he used to disappear and I'd be standing there waiting for him to reappear eventually. And did it feel scary when yes. he would do that? Yes. And definitely. he would disappear on you? He would disappear. And how long did he go for potentially? Um, it could be a good few minutes, but it felt like a lifetime. So good. And how do you feel? Next dog can start getting ready, guys. So next dog can start getting ready. How did you feel and keep feeding for this? Because another dog's coming into the arena. Yes. So... And, and not panicked, calm, yeah. like all these instructions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how did it feel when he went? How, how did you feel? I felt really Either. bad. And is it Worried. any good for you as, a, no. as an owner? No. And is it any good for another owner who has him run up to them? Definitely not. No, it's not fun, is it? Because he's a big dog and he does have a tendency to jump up at people as well. So. Yeah. And guys who are listening in the comments at home, so anybody who's listening or anybody who's, who's, who's checking out what we do and who we are and where we, where we sort of, um, or how we train really, um, for him, do you think he has more fun now? Yes. And do you think he has more freedom now? Yes. And do you think you feel safer now? Yes. And is he safer? He's much safer. Yes. He, he doesn't go any distance away from me now. He will go a certain distance and then come back. I love without that. Without 
without prompting. I love that. So he's actually looking to be around yes. you. Nice, reward that. Good decision. Really good. Keep rewarding there. Nice. And you can mark that. Nice. Good. And nice. mark it again. Nice. Oh dear, I've got Harper in here. She likes to bite me. <laughs> um, nice. So I'm slightly, I'm just going to stay longer here, Freddie. I'm going to stay longer because my best friend Harper is in the building. My best friend Harper is in the building and she is the dog who would like to get me. So I'm going to play a really cool game with Harper. I know you know this game, but most of all, what I've really loved, Ingrid, is lovely and feed and just mark it. Nice, nice. and feed. That's fine. And don't panic. So you can see the panic through yes. every bone in your body. So <laughs> we've got the line. We've got yeah. the lead. You're going to pop lead. him back on his double lead. Yeah. But I also want you to be really calm about Who it. Who would love to be Lara Croft, guys, in the comments? <laughs> Tell me in the comments if you'd love to be Lara Croft. Because I think that with your dogs and with our dogs, we need to be kind of like Clark Kent or, um, or Lara Croft. And you can loosen him up completely. I mean, he's, he's wondering why my dog's sat on his head. Um, <laughs> but you can loosen him up completely. And then, nice, good boy, good boy, really good boy. I want you to go into that space feeling just that little bit more empowered because he is a big dog, isn't he? Yes. Can he pull you over? Um, yes, he could potentially pull me over. And at the same time, he's choosing to work with you majority yes. of the time. Yes. Yeah. Now I can see you're desperate to leave me, aren't you? No. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> Don't you tell me that. I can see it. You're like, let me get out of here. You've done a great job. Well done. I'm okay. going to go and see Harper. Thank I've got to collect you. my mice, I think. I need some mice. Who's got my mice? I need some mice. I've got mice happening. I'm going, well done, Ingrid. And show Ingrid some love and Freddie some love. I've got a collection of mice. I've got many, many mice. And I'm, I'm going to see Harper in a second. Don't let her come near me yet. I've had cl clear instructions not to be bitten. Not to be bitten. So I have got multi mice here. And why have I got multi mice here? Because I really do have a collection of, of mice or mices. <laughs> Mice. I have a collection of mice. Um, and so in a previous life, I was a school teacher so, uh, of English. So I, do, I, should know, I should know these are mice. Uh, and so I've got a family of mice here. And the game that we're going to play, and this game is really, really cool. We've, we've renamed it. And we've renamed it from now on. So the game is now, it's no longer the mouse game, everybody. It's no longer the mouse game. It's now Mouse Trap. So we're going to call it Mousetrap because we can't believe we didn't call it Mousetrap the first time. So it should have been Mousetrap the first time. So I know that she would like to bite me. I know that she definitely, definitely does not like people particularly. But this game really helps her in a minute. So in a second, we're going to play this game with Harper. And what we're going to do is we're going to cage the mouse. Now, because obviously we don't want to use real life mice because that would not be OK. Uh, we're not going to use real life mice. We are going to use. I know you'd like to eat me, Harper. I agree. I know. I understand it. I understand it. Um, we're going to use some of her food. So I've got my little mouse friends here. I think this one even moves. Maybe it doesn't move. It, it just makes a funny noise. No, it's not moving. Uh, so uh, we're going to turn that one off. Um, but what I'd really love to do with Harper, I've got so many things. I've got my dog. I've got my phone with your comments. I've got all of your super cool information here. Uh, so what we're going to do with her, rather than me come near you or you come near my, leave him alone. There's nothing wrong with him. He's just my terrier. Look at her face. She is angry about him. Right, let's get a focus because you can see that. Can you see that she is not happy about him? Right, she's not happy. So that's not happy. Let's go straight to the table. So get straight on the table. Turn around. Turn around. I'm going to turn. You can have your bum that way. Nice. And let's go straight into a mouse game. So straight into a mouse game. So guys, did you see that focus change? Nice. Straight into the nice and feeder. Good. Really nice. And feed her backwards. Nice. Really good. So what I really love here, and I'm not going to get too close to you, Harper. I'm, this is probably about a right distance since she caught you there. So I want you to cage and uncage. So don't like that. And keep it uncaged for a minute. And we're going to test this a little bit longer. So we're going to test this a little bit longer. Now feed back. Really good. And again for me and feed back. Really nice. And again, let's have a whole pile there. Let's have a whole family of mice. Put a few more sausages in the mice. I want more sausage mice. Right, and then take out a few of the kibble. Nice, feed a sausage back. A sausage back to her. And this is her whole dinner, guys. So she's gonna play this game for her dinner. Now, she's not that happy about people and she's not that happy about dogs. But can you see that when we're playing mouse game with her, and I think this is gorgeous. So this is mouse trap. This is mouse trap. It's absolutely renamed, we good feed. So that was lo looking up at me and saying, you know what, I'm not going to try and have her. I'm actually going to carry on playing mousetrap uh, and straight back at her again. So straight back. Now, what I really love when you're playing mousetrap with her, and I think this is really important, is that you're always feeding away from the pile of food. So you're feeding away, feeding away from the pile of food with her. So she's actually having to disengage from the pile of food. Now, would Harper, um, does Harper struggle with environments, Tia? Yeah. 
Yeah, and does Harper struggle with people? Yeah. Does, she struggles. She struggles, right? She yeah. struggles. And yet, nice and rewarded backwards. Good job. Nice. There's a good distraction going on there. This is really cool. Like This is really cool dog training. Now, if she comes near it, and I want you to test her a bit more. I want you to be like, wow, what is this? Ooh. Wow. Love. Don't cage it, remember, unless she's doing the wrong thing. Cover, that's when you cage. Yeah, so I don't want you to cage it unnecessarily. I only want okay. you to cage it. Now you can feed there because I've moved and that's really good for her to handle me moving. Um, so I want you to do exactly the same. Talk about the food like, oh, this is nice food. Nice. This is really cool food. Ooh. Feed back and feed between the legs if you can. So you're going to okay. feed between the legs. Really good nice job. feed. That was a great job. I love the fact she changed position there. I thought it was really good control. So really nice. Feed back before she does. So you're going to try and catch her before she action prompts. Okay. So you're teaching her a game of impulse control. You're teaching her a game of self-control. And the thing that most people do wrong with this game, Tia, can you guess? They always trap the food. Yeah, they always trap the food. So they love to keep the mouse in the trap. <laughs> uh, feed her back again. You nearly fell off, Harper. So they always want to keep the mouse in the trap. But actually, this is much Good better job. because this is when she starts to offer real self-control. Lovely. Feed her back Good again. Job. Feed her back. Lovely. Really good job. Really good job. So that's absolutely perfect. Guys, if you're listening in the comments, or you're watching in the comments, really nice and feed back in again. And um, if you're listening in the comments and you're watching us and you're checking this out, if you've got any questions, we're more than happy to answer any of your dog training struggles. If we can help you, this is a dog who doesn't like people, a dog who doesn't like dogs. This is a dog who struggles with a recall. And yet, can you see the amount of impulse control she's offering here? Now, what I'm going to say is if our next dog can start to get ready this is a good distraction for her so this is a really good distraction so be ready for this because when another dog comes in what might she do lunge bar so if she does decide to do that we're going to reward her lots of playing mousetrap okay. so we're going to play with the mousetrap and we're going to up the rate of reinforcement for mousetrap so uh, we're going to up the rate now keep feeding and the dog that's coming in happens to be another little terrier and terriers and terriers don't always think much of other terriers and um, so you're going to up the rate of reinforcement so you're going to increase the frequency and you're going to increase the energy that you're putting in really Good nice job. super job, job. Uh, and at the same time do you see Good the focus girl. here and our, our other little terrier is actually already in so she's already in yeah. and you can see her right she's only over there I know everyone at home can't necessarily see it, but they're close in terms of a dog that doesn't like other dogs. And this is the way we Good work job. with a dog who doesn't like other dogs. We don't put things in a space where it's uncomfortable for them. So that's a really great game for her, Tia. Is it a game that you think you could play outside, out and about? Yeah. Take bed, yeah. So anything. Amazing. Keep box. feeding back. Everyone loves her little funny noise. Show <laughs> Harper some love, guys, because Harper's got a very funny, wrinkly little face. She's also got a very, very, very funny talk. Like she talks in a really funny language. Yeah. Feed again, right back in again. So Tia's getting loads of love, and so is Harper. So feedback. This is a game I would play with her when you want her attention and she's struggling. Yeah. Yeah, because it immediately gives her a job. And when you give her a job, she does most appropriate behaviours. So her most appropriate behaviours. I love what she's doing. You're doing a great job, Tia. Keep it up. Absolutely Good super. Job. Now, I am heading over to our little Jack Russell Terry, who's actually kicking her legs. She's kicking her legs. I've got my Jack Russell Terrier in the air. I've got my Jack Russell Terrier and you've got your Jack Russell Terrier. Feed her lots. Now, I know you can feed her just for paying attention to you because this little Terrier is a bit of a distraction for her. Now, I know, Sue, that keep away can be a bit of a problem for your husband, John, and her. Now, John couldn't be here this evening with us, this afternoon, today, whatever time it is with you guys in your home. So John couldn't be here with us tonight, but she plays keep away particularly with him. Yeah. And what do you think that's about? It's she doesn't want to do what he wants. She doesn't want to be on lead. She doesn't want to even, I mean, he sometimes forgets to put a puppy lead on. Okay. And the puppy lead is the answer for us, or for me, for the keep away. Okay, so In let's fact, put her I'll puppy lead it. on straight away. So when we say puppy line, guys, these are things you can get on the Absolute Dog Store. They're a mega part of what we do. So they're a mega part of what we do because they help us. Maybe you've done our recall course in the past, or maybe you've done Sex in a Squirrel. For me, the line really does help to bridge the gap between going off lead and like sort of in the in the big wide world and actually having a little bit of control so john sometimes forgets to put this one on tell us in the comments if you've ever struggled with training your husband your wife your partner <laughs> your sister your mother your brother you know tell us if you've struggled to train someone else because i can tell you now uh, my daughter i struggle to train her yeah. she's gorgeous she's brilliant but when you train your family it can definitely be hard so it can definitely be hard and if you've ever experienced that guys tell us in the comments so tell us in the comments if you've ever struggled with that um, and so that can be hard. Now, you're going to play a game called Magic Hand. Yeah. 
And Magic Hand, has it helped you with keep away and has it helped you with attention? It helped me. It I'm helps sure you it helps John I love it. he hasn't done it. <laughs> we, I love it. It doesn't help John yet because he hasn't done it, but it does help you. So yeah. do you want to show us Magic Hand? Because Magic Hand is part of our games club and Magic Hand's also part of Sex in a Squirrel. Let's have a look at her playing Magic Hand. Really nice. Look at that attentive little dog. Okay, and then wait for her to come in. I, I love that I've got her, her brother from another Ooh, lover, right. mother, someone else, family relative. Um, okay, really nice. That's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. And bring her back into position again. I love that you've got your comfy slippers on too. I know they're You warm. made yourself at home tonight, I know. today, whatever time of day it is with you guys. <laughs> and bring her back around to magic hand position again. So drop your line. So you're going to drop your line. You're going to go really, really confident at this. Absolutely oh, gorgeous. I love it when they do that. It bounces off their nose. Guys, show Dot some love because Dot is a dog that struggles with environments. Dog is, Dot is a dog that struggles with, she's, she can be a little bit stressy. She can be a little bit anxious. She can be a little bit of a worrier. She can be a little bit dog doggy. She can be a little bit barky. She doesn't always like traveling. She's definitely not the easiest of dogs out there. And Sue has worked really hard with her. Uh, and when I say really hard, she's actually played games. So it's not like terribly hard. It's see. actually, Sue's put in some cool games and some cool effort. Um, and so show us that again really nice so she's gonna be under the hand <laughs> nice and it landed on her head really cool and is she playing for a dinner here sue definitely she hasn't had much to eat today so she's so this is dinner for her so this is her evening her evening meal and so um she's obviously going to get a bit more than this but mm -hmm. what she's showing you is just for part of her daily food does this help you when she wants to keep away yes because i literally say come along let's go and does she come along? She does. She does. Yeah. How cool is that? It's great. It's right? great. Seriously great. Do you feel great. better as an owner having this up your sleeve? Gosh, yes. You do? Yeah. Yeah. Having said that, she still thinks the world is her business. Yeah. And so when you say the world can be her business, what sort of things can she be distracted by? People, leaves, squirrels, anything. Anything that moves, she's a terrier. So stuff that moves. And she's a terrier. Yeah. Right. So she's a terrier. So this game here, I love what you're doing with it. I think you're doing a great job. You're going to build in more distractions and yeah. distractions like this one here can definitely be a bit of a challenge. And at the same time, she's working through this one really nicely. Do a little bit of movement past this one for me. So go past this way, straight past. Really nice. I love it when they do that, like, like with their sort of like, <laughs> I love it absolutely love it like really really nice really gorgeous yeah, and doors. again Come on this way. super nice absolutely gorgeous i'm losing my mechanics now nice and so what sue said there is i'm losing my mechanics and what she means by that is she needs to reward in the right place as well to get the best from dot so she needs to reward where should sue reward if she wants her at her trouser leg don't you answer sue so where should <laughs> sue reward if she wants her at her trouser leg and guys if this is helping you watching please tell us in the comments below if you haven't already shared this live please share the live there are some super cool prizes in fact i think i should give a prize i think i should give a prize if you've shared this please put share in the comments right now and if you haven't shared this please share it right now and then put share in the comments right now and before dot is gone i'm going to give away a super cool prize i'm going to give a super cool prize away this before one. dot has finished the game in fact i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to give away one of our super cool double leads because i love our double leads and we've got cool accessory packs when you order any of our programs on absolute dogs we've got always really cool accessory packs so i'm going to give away one of our double leads they're my favorite thing they're gorgeous by a thing really nice to handle your dogs I might even give a puppy line too. I might even give a puppy line too. What do you think, Sue? Should we give a puppy I line as well? Should. Let's do it. Let's do everything. it. So guys, you must put shared in the comments. I need to know you shared it. So I need to know you shared it. And one of these leads could be heading to you. I'm going to do it before she is gone. Literally before she's away from us, I'm going to be uh, telling you who's got it. But like, you need to tell me you've shared. So you need to tell me you've shared. Okay, so as she's working this through, Sue, I yeah. love, like her attention is looking gorgeous. What I want you to do is I want you to do that and I want you to pick up a line. So you do it and pick up a line as if you're taking a home because okay. this is what happens. People aren't able to do both together and that's what we call mechanics. And guys, if you want to share it, you've got time now. You've not got long. If you want to share it, you've got time now. Do, 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 do. And again, let's see it. And let that go. Don't give her anything here. Just stand still. Oh, she said she's found another piece of sausage. She's like, that sausage is great. Lovely. Really nice. Good girl. Nice. And then let Good her girl. find position again. There you go. Nice. And then bring her around so you can move her into nice. 
Um, tell us in the comments, guys, as well, can your dog catch? Can your dog catch or not? And guys, if you would like this, a chance to win this double-ended lead well, and the puppy line, I need you to tell me you've shared. I need to tell me you've shared. Uh, and everybody in here can share too. You're all allowed to share as well. I'm going to let shared. you. You can all take part. I shared. You can't share it. Sorry, Sue. I did already <laughs> lots. <laughs> I shared. Poor Sue. She's feeling left out. She's feeling left out. There's no limit, guys. There's no limit. Oh, you guys can share as much as you like. And if I see more shares, we might get a good chance here uh, of someone winning. Okay, pop it back on the bed. That's looking pop gorgeous. So when you're okay. playing a game like that, Sue, yeah. has it, does it happen overnight? Let's be, let's be real with people. No. This has taken months. Yeah, and it's taken time. Yeah. And have you now got a dog that you can actually have that is orienting back to you and checking you out yeah. now? And is it, does it feel better? It feels better. At the moment, I still need to have food Feeding with him. me. I need to have food with me. Yeah, and you need to have food yeah. with you because at the end of the day, guys, it's in the comments, and I think this is important to know, do most of us go out to work for nothing? No, right? Most of us go out to work for some form of payment, whether it's huge enjoyment and you're volunteering and you hugely enjoy it, or whether it is mm -hmm. um, something that you're actually actively getting paid for as a job. Most of us go out to work and are paid in some format. And so for her, this is just paying, yeah? Just and you'll be able to vary it later and you'll be yeah. able to vary it more, but at the stage she's at, yeah. we are still paying her. Yeah. Our next dog could start getting ready, guys. So our next dog could come in and be ready. And what I'd really, really like you to think about with her is, how you vary that schedule. Yeah. So how you vary it, a bit slot mm -hmm. machine. Yeah. So think the slot machine, people will keep paying in, but mm -hmm. you don't know at what point it's paying out. We yep. need her to keep being able to offer all the great behaviors. And at some point that okay. she's gonna get paid for that. Yeah. yeah, so we are gonna do that. And you're gonna intercept sort of the right moments with feeding, nice. And that's Good really good because we've got another dog coming into the arena yes. and she's doing really nice stuff. Now I'm gonna pick our shares. So I'm gonna go through our shares and I'm gonna pick our shares. Uh, and in fact, oh God, I can't actually pick our shares because my comments <laughs> won't let me see. So I'm going through our shares now. I'm looking through our shares and I'm going to do an eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I love it that, that Ingrid shared twice. That makes me want to pick Ingrid. Um, I've seen many shares from Ingrid here. It does make me want to pick Ingrid. And at the same time, let me quickly scroll through and I'm going to put my hand on someone. And it's landed on Jessica Schlack. So Jessica Schlack, you're going to get our lead and you're going to get our puppy line. So if you contact our help desk, uh, if someone can pop the help desk information in there, they're going to be making sure you get a lead. There's no limit. There is absolutely no limit. I absolutely will do another lead and puppy line if you guys keep sharing. I'm all in. I'm all in. If you want the notes as well, guys, if you want the super cool uh, bonus that we've got for you, you need to put, pop squirrel in the comments. Sue, you've been amazing. I'm sad I'm we didn't fine. get to see John. Oh, I know yeah. you're like, don't you give away my lead. <laughs> I'm sad we didn't get to see John. And at the same time, are we going to give John homework? Oh, yeah. Feel yeah. free. Feel he's going to he's going to have this as homework. I'm going to send him a message personally. Dude. He's going to have homework. Right, I'm taking my terrier away. You take your terrier. You've done a great job. Thank She's you. looking amazing. Well done, you. <laughs> okay, now we are heading over to the lovely River. Um, I'm bringing my my double ended lead and my little dog over with me too. And River Kev can be quite a sniffy dog. Is that yeah, right? Yeah, absolutely. She can find uh, the smells quite overpowering. She likes to go hunting for food. Um, she can get a nose into it. She's uh, she's there. So she is a sniffy dog, and when you lose her do you lose her oh yeah the, it's like the ears switch off the nose goes into overdrive and so yeah games so have the been flaps are kind of put, like down oh, yeah 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 like oh, yeah. literally hard down they are literally nothing. she cannot hear you yeah, yeah. now flop. have you been doing some tricks with her yes and why do tricks help you and her tricks are amazing because they allow us to get her nose off the ground they're up with she's up with us it's great for relationship and, and i love that i really do yeah. now can someone run us a lead i don't know if you've got a puppy line on uh, you i don't have a puppy can someone line, run so. us a puppy line please that'd be amazing yeah. so we're gonna have a puppy line on her and the reason i want her on a puppy line is that if she does decide to go anywhere i want you to be able to pick that line back up again okay. and i know in here even <laughs> though it's a fairly non-sniffy environment there's a lot of sausage around it's, there's a lot of food <laughs> being thrown and so we're you're going to take a puppy line and you're going to clip that one on her so you're going to clip that one on her really nice and you are going to uh, start with that one really cool and you're going to take a double lead off and you're going to clip the puppy line on here we go. we go really nicely done and show some love guys she's a labradoodle so river's a labradoodle uh, she's a sniffy labradoodle and she's a dog who will bog off and run off to go and sniff stuff okay so let's do some tricks you can start with tricks on the table yep. and then you're going to move tricks on the floor and then you're going to move to tricks off lead and then you're going to move to tricks back on lead does that okay. make sense yeah it makes sense you ready it makes sense okay let's go sit nice pretty. good so she's got sit pretty 
And have you um, taught that over a long period of time? Yeah, absolutely. Pretty is one of those ones that really needs some nice core conditioning because she needs a good stomach muscles. Brilliant. And so you've taken, taken time. I'm bringing my little terrier friend with me. <laughs> um, okay, and again, let's do something else. So maybe some left and right spins. Okay. Ready, and twist. Nice, that's easy, gorgeous. <laughs> Ready, spin. And guys, let's show Very us some love. Nice. So tricks are going to, you keep going. You can yeah. do any of your normal tricks. I don't mind you bringing her off the table, um, doing some toes. Ooh. You can do all of um, the tricks. You can do all of your tricks. Lovely Maybe. bow. So guys, if you haven't started playing some tricks at home, again, through the Sex in the Squirrel course, what we want to teach you and all of our games club and all of what we do here at Absolute Dogs, we really want to help you to have this level of relationship with your dog so that actually your dog is going to see you as where the party is and you as where the fun is. And actually, it's not about sit, stay, down, stay, you must behave stay it's yeah. actually a good deal for your dog and i want to see that and you don't need to teach any of these tricks you can teach any yeah. of the games that we've already played and you can mm -hmm. teach some of these if you choose the cool thing is if you're part of our games club that you absolutely get to choose so you get to pick what you want to do and you can see how controlled she is there and you can see how uh, she waits for kev to tell her when she should get something and when she shouldn't get something and i think it's really important to acknowledge that when you're playing tricks with your dog you get to choose the best ones for them so you get to choose those carry on going kev we're loving them Very she's got nice. some leg weaves it's fine normally we do this off of the long line so we could and you can take the long line off let's do yeah. it let's get the long line off so we're going to risk the long line off guys <laughs> and i love it karen says the tail does doesn't stop um, and Laura says oh my god she stepped over the leash wow she's getting oh. a lot of love she, she's getting a lot of love so loads of love for River really nice really nice super nice and love leg weaves for this because it's really like she hasn't got a chance to get her nose down on the ground so it's very nice we can move <laughs> good, girl. Okay, good girl so she doesn't get the opportunity to put her nose on the ground i think that's really important isn't it that you actually don't give her that moment uh, yeah. because actually she's busy and she's employed and of course there are times where she should be sniffing but is it when you need to get her back no it's uh, very much so I, I like the idea of a sniffy walk and she does get sniff time so she um, and we use sniff for good um but if, if we're out and we're kind of we want to get on with a walk or we're trying to go somewhere actually sometimes it's not appropriate or when you sniffing. recall her right yeah. like when you recall her and she's busy sniffing does she need to come still oh yeah absolutely she needs and to come rather than is just... that hard for her <laughs> it can be it can be hard can be. right it can be hard and so i think that's really really important do a little bit of magic hand for us yeah. as well because you can show some of a magic hand game she can play some of the games that that dot plays so guys if you haven't already games club <laughs> is on offer to you and games club is a really cool space to be uh, what's included in games club and you can carry on doing your magic hand kev because it's gorgeous you've got over 450 games games that you can pick like this it's the netflix of dog training uh, you've got your nifty solutions you've got your calm course your boundary games you've got real life boundaries you've got our sexy the squirrel brand new course it's literally version 3.0 it's mega it's huge and it's a complete refill which is really really cool you've got a 10 days to stop barking you've got a 10 days to stop pulling if someone could put this in the comments that would really really help me because i'd have to read it out less it's a huge list so if someone could put this in the comments that would be so helpful and if you're part of games club and you can tell um, anybody about it who's listening that would be really cool as well so i really like this game i love magic hand i love what she's doing with middle i love what she's doing with middle on the move she's got so many games um, and what i really like here is that she really does know a huge amount um, of, of, of what we do here at, in Games Club. And so I've kind of saved her till last because she's pretty experienced at what we're doing. You also get the 10 days to stop jumping. You get the 10 days to stop barking. You get the exclusive community support. You get our brand new, like I said, Sex in the Squirrel course. You get relationship success. You get exclusive live dog training. You get weekly tailored newsletter. You get a struggle focused resource pack. You literally, it goes on, it goes on. So if someone could post this, that would be amazing. So if someone could post this and you also get the brand new course. So that's a really cool space. So Kev, hop her back on the table for Ready? me. Let's whiz her back to the table. She said, I missed a piece of food actually. Really cool. And feed there. Uh, if someone was thinking about joining us, if someone was thinking about getting involved, Kev, what would you say? Oh, 100%. It's been um, a total life changing opportunity for us to get involved. And the reason that we found games in the first place was because River was described as nervous and submissive by so many uh, trainers and, and we, we were told that's the way she was always going to be. And does she look nervous to you guys at home? So you guys at home that are listening and watching and, and spotting her right now, does she look nervous and submissive? Are you seeing an unhappy dog here now? Are you, you know that, um, that, that trending sound, that whole happy? 
happy, happy dog. <laughs> like she's doing the like tail as the happy dog. Like she is just a happy dog. So for me, uh, she's a great dog. Is she an amazing family member? Oh yeah, absolutely. We've got a, a young daughter, same age as Liza. So, um, and, and they're best buds. And, and really does she great. get to play with your daughter and train with oh, your yeah. daughter as well? The games are so accessible for my daughter as well. She loves doing the mouse games. She loves doing um, leg weaves and tricks. So it's really nice that we've got all of these great games that we can play. So, so cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to head uh, to one of our students and we're going to hear a little bit more about how they've played games and how it's helped them. And then I think what we'll do is we'll probably train one of my dogs. We might even have some distractions. We might even have some distractions and we'll see how these distractions go. So we might even have some distractions. They're all giggling behind me because they know what these distractions might be. Kev, you've been amazing. We're going to head to one of our students. I'm going to whiz upstairs for a few minutes and we will see you soon. Thank you so much. Let's head to one of our students. Coming here has transformed my relationship with Drem. He's a big, strong Malvarna dog with a very strong hunt drive. And for me, the main issues when I first came and spoke to the team about were him pulling. I'd had a serious neck injury, which meant I couldn't actually take him for a walk for about eight weeks. Well, my husband could and I could walk next to him, but I wasn't allowed to touch the lead. So I made a phone call, chatted with one of the team, and they said, come on down. And that first appointment was amazing. It just opened my eyes to how you can train a dog and have great fun at the same time. The games are brilliant. Drim now is the most amazing dog. So amazing that we're actually considering getting another one. He's got a really great relationship with me now. We go everywhere together. He's my mate. He's lovely to handle. He doesn't pull and um, his agility is really coming on well, which has been brilliant fun for both of us. So if anybody's got any struggles, whatever they are, big or small, it's well worth every penny. Life with my dog was the definition of challenging. She was reactive, she didn't like other dogs, uh, couldn't, I was nervous about taking her anywhere. And then I found Absolute Dogs and through games and through fun, she is now a complete joy. She's only two and we've become a wonderful partnership. And I wouldn't be here now if I hadn't found Absolute Dogs. Okay, so we've got some amazing questions. And if you've got questions, please pop them in the comments below. There's also our share competition. If you want to share it, you could be in with a chance of winning a lead and a puppy line. So you could have both, a double lead, one of those super cool double leads. Um, they're often in our accessory packs, actually. So if when you go to get hold of Sex and a Squirrel, the link should be somewhere on this page or will be on this page. And um, when you go to do that, you can get an accessory pack. And when you get the accessory pack, they're often in our accessory pack. So check out what's in the current accessory pack. Um, we'd like to keep them fresh. Uh, and so I've got a few questions. And if you guys have got questions, uh, absolutely, please, 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 please ask because we want you to help. And um, what's the benefit of a double lead? So Valerie Wilson, for me, a double lead, the reason I really love having a double lead on my dog, gives two points of contact, uh, contact often safer, often kinder, and often gives a bit more feedback. So through the lead, you give a bit more feedback. You can talk to the dog, you can communicate with the dog through the lead, so all through the pressure. 
And often when you're doing that, you can keep a lighter pressure through two points of the lead. I learned that through horses actually, uh, but it's a really nice way to manage lead. I typically don't have a, a single lead. I typically have a double lead. It might be a collar harness. It might be a collar head collar. It might be um, a collar collar. It might be a, um, you, can, you can use it. It's a bit more versatile as well. So double lead, really, really nice tool really nice tool and if you haven't already shared this or if you are sharing it tell us you're sharing it because I am going to pick another winner in a minute so I'm picking another winner in a second okay next question my dog can be an angel in the house but when out he wears his headphones on top volume he doesn't listen to me so if you haven't already please 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 get hold of the resource that's free with this session and the cool thing with the resource with this session, it's all about that. It's all about how you work up to being outside. It's called the Squirrelometer. It's as a celebration of version 3.0 of the Sex in a Squirrel course, brand new footage. If you haven't already purchased it, it's on the screen or for just 30 pounds, literally for 30 pounds, uh, you can get into Games Club. And the cool thing with Games Club is that the, the best thing about the Games Club is it's there is so much content in there. There's so much for you there. Um, so. I love that you guys are sharing. I love that you're doing an amazing job sharing. I'm about to pick another winner. I'm about to pick another winner. Um, okay, so next one. What do I do if my dog ignores me when I call him? Tell me in the comments what you think. So what do I do if my dog ignores me when I call him? I'm going to say A. Do you do A? Do you shout and scold and get really angry? What are you doing? Do you get really angry? Number one, A. Uh, do you get really angry? B. Do you pick up the line? and you walk away and make it easier next time. Do you pick up the line and do that? C, uh, do you holler? Do you shout? Do you run and knock on your neighbor's door to get them to help you? Which one would you do? A, B or C? Which one do you do? There might be a prize in it for you too. Uh, yeah, of course, absolutely. Um, you're going to pick up that line. You're going to turn them around and you're going to say, no, actually, I am still your owner. I am still here. You're going to remind them that you exist and you're going to continue to work on all of our games in Sex and the Squirrel in the meantime. So keep working on all of our games from Sex and Squirrel in the meantime. So loads, loads, loads there. I love it. I love it. Kylie shared it uh, and Andy Lee's crying. Hello, lovely Andy Lee. Uh, you make me laugh. Um, OK, my dog easily gets distracted during training sessions and seems to get bored really quickly. What should I do? OK, couple of top tips. Really, really short training sessions. So short training sessions. Don't do long training sessions. Short training sessions. Really important we do short training sessions, not the long training sessions, short sessions. Uh, next thing for me, I would get your dog to earn their food. So get your dog to earn their food if they don't already. Uh, next thing I would say is you keep your movement games in there. So movement games are often more helpful than static games. So movement games like the game that the Husky played, orientation game, or um, another movement game might be toy games, so play games. Another one might be Magic Hand that you saw Sue doing. So she was moving with little Dot, wonderful Dot. Um, so any of those would be would be really, really cool. Um, and then, guys, if you've got questions or if you've got shares, tell me on here because I'm going to pick someone in a second. Uh, Alice said she would use a long line. Uh, she'd play games such as Rewind. Again, really cool games that are in Sex in a Squirrel. All of the games that are in Sex in a Squirrel, they're always going to work. Um, and always make it fun. So I think it can always be made fun. So really, really cool. Uh, middle saved my dog's life when he was going to run towards the main road. Well done, Jenny. Jenny, that's amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Okay, next question. Uh, my dog's nervous. Will this work for us? Absolutely. We're the home of naughty but nice dogs. Nervous dogs, we absolutely know. Nervous dogs, I, I love it. We've got people in the background nodding, going, yes, 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 and yes. My dog was that nervous dog. Um, and so for me, massive, 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 massive space for naughty but nice dogs, dogs that lunge, dogs that bark, dogs that are reactive. Sexy and a squirrel is your place. And remember, you get sexy and a squirrel included when you jump into Games Club. So Games Club, mega, mega value. You. Okay, how can I train my dog to come back even when there are other dogs around? He loves playing with his doggy friends and I love seeing him have a great time, but when it's time to go home, he doesn't even want to know me. Again, start on the Sex in the Squirrel program. Start literally game by game, day by day. And the cool thing with it is that you get to kind of curate your journey through Sex in the Squirrel. The other thing I really like with Sex in the Squirrel is it's very much a um, a sort of process where you progress. So you go through it and you make progress each and every session. So it's a really nice space to be. For me, training your dog to come back, even though they're around their friends and their doggy friends and it's distracting for them, is a vital life skill. 
And when I say a vital life skill, it's something we have to have our dogs understanding, knowing, doing and getting. It's really, really, really important. It's really impactful. It's really empowering. It's a really important thing to do. So I, I really want you to do that. And guys, if you haven't already shared, it's your last opportunity to share right now. And I'm going to pick someone in the next two minutes. I'm going to pick someone in the next two minutes. If you haven't already shared, you can share it to dog groups. You can share it to your own page. You can share it to someone on WhatsApp. You can share it anywhere, everywhere. I'm going to be picking in the next two minutes. Um, okay, next one I've got. I have a rescue dog, so will this work? Absolutely, 100%. Will this work for a rescue dog? Yes, 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 and yes. You've just seen little Marley down there. Marley's brand new to games, and she's already started on this journey, which is mega. Um, and um, my dog shuts down, feels pressure. What would you suggest? Probably number one with a dog that shuts down and a dog who feels pressure is let's get rid of the pressure and let's get them moving. So we want these dogs moving. We don't want them doing statics. So the game that you wouldn't play with that dog is mousetrap. You wouldn't play mousetrap, but you would play orientation game. And I think that's what I like about absolute dogs the most. We bespoke the training session to you. So the training sessions, all the games you play, you can curate them to you and you can make them really suitable for you. Now, we've got a lot more questions here. And if you guys have um, questions, please, 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 please do ask. Oh my God, there's so many questions. You guys have got loads of questions and you've got loads of good stuff. The other thing I should do is I should celebrate all of you people jumping into games club. So well done, Pam. Well done, Teresa. Well done, Jenny. And well done, Lisa, because you guys have all jumped into games club, which is mega. Uh, and for those of you that have jumped into grabbing sexy and squirrel uh, and you're accessory packs guys you're amazing and i'm really excited for your journey the list is long and so i'm congratulating you and i'm really really proud of you so happy for you you're not going to regret this it's an amazing decision so huge celebrations and guys if you want to celebrate each other in the comments please please do really exciting spaces okay i am going to pick i'm going to scroll through and i'm going to pick on someone right now to win our line our lead our uh, super cool stuff i'm going to go through i'm going to go through i haven't quite picked yet i'm going to pick really soon i love it kev's like sh waving his hands around like it's me it's got to be me okay i'm picking natalie beach Natalie Beach, you're amazing. You win a lead and you win a puppy line. Kev is crying in the background. He's really sad. He's really upset because it's not his, it's yours. Um, and guys, I'm going to do one more. I'm going to do one more before the end. So please keep telling us. He's really excited. He's like, yes. Um, okay, so I'm going to train my dog in a minute. And I want to know what you'd like to see. So I'm going to train my dog. Hannah says, loving this live. Uh, only now managed to comment. Oh, I'm really pleased, Hannah, you're here. And I'm really pleased you can comment. Jane's like, yes, everyone. Jane's my friend. She's literally super. I mean, I don't actually know Jane in person, but I've seen her lots online. And Jane's got some amazing little dogs. So I love watching her little dogs. Um, so what I'd like to know is what would you like me to train my dog? Because I could train you anything you like. I really can show you so many things with her. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you the story of really what her problem was, because we did have a problem. And what I really noticed with easy, number one, don't call your dog easy. You know what? Call a dog easy. It's going to be difficult. Don't call your dog easy. Uh, so easy is a border collie. And I remember the first time I let her off lead, she legged it. And she legged it in the distance and she went a long way. And then when she got that far away, she lay down and she said, basically, I don't come near you. And I especially don't come near you if you've got a lead in your hand. So she played a game called keep away. Yeah, so it's a keep away game. And that's not really a game we want to play. So it's not really a game we want to play. Has, has anyone ever experienced that? Because it's a painful experience when you experience a dog who plays, plays keep away. Um, and so for me, keep away is no fun. And I'd love to show you the game that solved her keep away. Who would like to see that? Tell me in the comments if you'd like to see that, because this is the game that solved her keep away. Now, throughout the games club, there are loads of games that are going to help with loads of problems from separation anxiety to dogs that bite, dogs that lunge, dogs that bark, dogs that are naughty but nice, dogs that pull, dogs that bark, uh, lunge at anything in the environment. Like literally, you name it, we will cover it. Stop pulling, stop jumping, uh, stop humping. You know what? It's all in there. It's absolutely all in there. And the cool thing is that Easy is now completely different, like completely different to the dog I started with. And I really can let her off lead anywhere with any environment, with any distraction and feel absolutely secure that she's my dog and I've got her and that she wants to hang out with me. Who would like to have that feeling? So Easy, when I let her off lead as a young dog, would bog off in the distance, lie down and you couldn't get near her. 
If you had a lead on you, she would go further because she didn't want to go home and she didn't want to go back on lead. Who has ever felt the pain of that? Who's ever felt the difficulty of that? And then put some distractions in the mix. Maybe, I don't know, sheep or cows or chickens. She'd actively not only run away, she'd then take her attention to those because she didn't want to go back on lead, is my hallucination. And there was a distraction in the environment, so she'd take on the distraction as well. Now, when your dog takes down a chicken or a sheep or a cow or whatever else they decide to take on, actually that also leaves us very vulnerable and them very vulnerable. Whoever has experienced that, guys, if you experienced that, let us know. Now, I'm going to head down and I'm going to train easy. I'd love you to come and join me. Who's up for joining me? And I'm going to show you what I do with Keep Away. If you'd like to join me, please, 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 please stay with us. I'd like you to listen to, though, before I head down there, I'd like you to listen to one more of our students because I just feel, or maybe a couple more of our students, I just feel that you hearing from them, I feel it's really impactful. So check out what our students have to say. I'm heading downstairs. I'm going to be working with Easy, and I would love, 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 love you to join me. I'll see you downstairs in a couple of minutes. My name is Sarah. I have a four-year-old Cavapoo named Buddy. I really did not like my dog and I'm sure he did not like me either. He was very much a stay away dog. He was very frustrating to work with. Um, walks were a nightmare um, and absolute dogs then came into our lives and the games in Games Club changed everything. Um, he now wants to be with me. It's been a true relationship builder. He is my best friend and he comes everywhere with me. A young Jack Russell who's actually now three years old but for the first two years of her life she was an absolute nightmare there was no sleeping at night there was no peace and quiet there was constant whining barking horrendously and she just couldn't be away from us I found absolute dogs through the sex and the squirrel challenge and in doing that and starting to play the games I realized that they work and there's a huge change in her We've now not only done the sex and the squirrel, but we're with the games club and the, the games do work. There's a huge difference in her. She engages us with us now. She will play, she will sit alone, she will sleep alone. She does not need to be hanging onto me by a thread and life is much more fun. Okay, so you can see that I've got a real selection of great rewards. I've got my treat pouch on, I've got my great food, I've got some amazing toys. But I'm actually going to use toys as my distractions because I think these are a little bit more sane than some of the other distractions that we're going to go to. So I'm going to pop that one out there, I'm going to pop that one out there, I'm going to pop that one out there, and I'm going to pop this one over here. You can also see that I've got a line. And I'm going to put her on a line because I think it's hypothetically speaking, it, it, can, be, it can be useful. I'm actually not going 
going to likely need to stand on this or do anything with it. I typically would like her in a harness if I'm going to stand on it, but I'm not going to stand on it. So we can be in there. Now you can see she likes all of these things. Easy. Yes, you do, don't you? Yeah, you can see she thinks they're all great fun. Uh, and she hasn't seen these before. These are new toys to her today. And you can definitely see how much the environment could, could throw her or excite her. Um, and she loves a toy. Easy. Come here, come here, ready? She said, I'd love these new toys. I don't want to bring them at all, thanks. Uh, and you can definitely see, thank you. Thank you, good girl. You can definitely see how, for her, life is fun. You can see the amount of energy. You can see the fact that she's a very herdy border collie. I'm going to throw a piece of food in here. Good. Nice. And I'm going to start going back into food work. Now, when I first had Easy, if I went in towards her, she would back off. So the more that I went into her, the more that she would back off. And I think it's really important to acknowledge when you own a dog like this, that actually this game can quite quickly become what they do. And if you've ever, I was training a lovely lady this week, her name's Lynn, and she's got a dog like Easy, but she hasn't quite got some of the other games that we've got to be able to make it a lot easier uh, to get hold of, 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 of a dog like Easy and work with her. Now I'm gonna throw the things that I've got. I've got a long line. So this is a long line if your dog is going further than Easy is. I'm not going to need that one today. I'm going to throw that one away, uh, but you could definitely use a long line. Those are on our store and they're often in some of our accessory packs. So do check them out. Really, really useful. She's actually on a puppy line. And the reason she's on a puppy line is because I want to demo it to you, but actually she doesn't need to be on this puppy line. She's pretty cool and she's pretty easy to hang out. Now I'm going to get her to work with some of the food that I've got here. So she's going to be catching some of the food and this is just some of her daily food. So just some of her daily food. And you can see that she'll happily go between, get it, her toy. Thank you you and her food so we've got toy and food get it now i'm showing you her as an experienced dog thank you good um and that one i'm showing you her as an experienced dog because i think it's really key that you see all ranges so you've seen some complete beginners a dog who's in rescue and a dog who's been here for like literally a uh, very very short time with a new um, rescue center and they literally are brand new to games and then you're also seeing a dog who's really seasoned pro at games you also saw the same with river real seasoned pro with games now what to do when your dog is playing keep away because that is really annoying and you're kind of within grasp but you're not actually able to get them and the more you do this the more they kind of play games like that with you easy you can get these thank you you can have those and you can have those and you can see she's a lot of dog so she's exactly what we would say to other people she's a lot of dog uh, down nice you're gonna hang out there and um, so I'm going to put that one back out there and I'm going to throw these again. Now, my favourite game for a dog like her, and you can see how many distractions are in the environment, down, middle, is actually middle and then feed her. And the way that I would do it with a dog like this at first is I would feed on the floor, hold the collar, feed again, and maybe feed again or again and again. And then I'd actually release her and I'd say, get it, ease, middle. So I'd bring her back in, I'd feed her, I'd feed her again, I'd hold the collar and then I'd let her go. Get it? Now the thing is I watch so many owners chasing their dog, trying to get hold of their dog and running around when actually you could make this so much easier by playing games like this and doing that. The other thing is when you really do want to get hold of your lead, you need to be intentional. And so many owners are not intentional about this. They, when I say intentional, they actually act a bit sketchy. When you act sketchy with your dog, your dog knows sketchy, and your dog understands sketchy, and they're like, Kev's laughing, because Kev knows sketchy. <laughs> um, and if you start like twitching around them, and I was watching lovely Lynn do this this week, Lynn was like, oh, I'm gonna grab you, I'm gonna grab you, I'm gonna grab you. And you can see how you could really wind a dog like her up. And actually what we really want, middle, is close control. So having close control is really important. So that's game one. And if you'd like game one, tell us because that's exactly what we teach. Get it, you can get it. I threw it out that way. You can get it, not the toy. Okay, the toy. Uh, Ease, bring me. She loves the new distraction toys. You love the new distraction toys. I'll have that one. And um, is tugging good or bad guys in the comments? Is tugging good or is tugging bad? Tell us in the comments, is tugging good or tugging bad? For me, for a dog like her, it's a really nice reward. And it's something I can have when life gets difficult. So it's something I can have. Now Ease, the middle. Okay, next game. So I love this game, collar grab, feed, collar grab, feed. So collar grab, feed, and when you want to release them out. Next game, I really love this game, and I think this is a really great game for a dog who doesn't want to come back, is actually build it to them wanting to really seek you out. So you can see how she really wants to seek out 
having her collar held. So even if you push her away, she brings herself back in again. And these are advanced for, for you to watch, but I want you to see how far you can take it if you want to. Nice. So you can see how much she's coming in and sending out again. So coming in, sending out, really nice. And so I want to see that she's actively seeking me out and actively wanting to come in. Good girl. Super dog. And if I push her away, do you see if you push, she's still coming back in. I think that's really key. Now, another game I really love for a dog like Easy, and I can tell you now, Easy was that end of the field. I would go to get her down and she would be out there. So she would be a long way away and you would say come here in fact I'll try it now you can just walk off and she's like I'm not coming I like it in this environment I don't want to come with you and so the next game that I played and I really like this one middle is actually getting her moving with me so getting her to move so she's playing again like I said she's playing the advanced games not the beginner games so she's playing more advanced games but the cool thing is with sex in a squirrel and with all of our games club you can level up and you can take it to this level with your dog too and I think that's a really cool space to be uh, the last one I'm going to say and I think this is a really cool game and it is involving play and I am going to let you now play you can and this is cool she goes from food, food to toy get it you get it pick one good girl you're going to pick one is retrieve easy easy I know and she said I'd like to just play with this as it is so retrieve and toy switch so these two games are really switch good so getting her to go switch yay super dog switch nice switch yeah switch super switch nice switch good um, and so going between these games I think for her were really good when the environment was tough switch good girl you come in with a lot of force yes you do go away switch nice um, and so for me again just another versatile game thank you that we can add into our dogs lives now most importantly not every dog is the same. So not every dog operates under the same sort of reinforcers. Um, food for some dogs, toys for other dogs. It really does matter what you use. I don't know if anyone also spotted my transition there in dog training. So there was a very clear transition in dog training because if you let her lead go and her choose what she likes, I would guess within a couple of minutes, she would go and pick one of the other toys up or she would go and pick something else in the environment. In fact, I think we've got some distractions. I think we've actually got some distractions. Distractions, do you want to come into the building? There's some very excited distractions. I know, Ease, it's crazy. It's crazy. So we've got some distractions tonight. Go, distractions, go, go. And they're a bit crazy, like they are crazy. Now, no matter what your distraction is, I know, good girl, I know that our dogs can handle it. Switch, good, switch. Good, switch. We need some music for our distractions, really. Go, distractions. Go. So no matter what the distraction, oh my God, we've got a pizza and everything. <laughs> a flamingo. We have a snail. We have a funky chicken. We have a dinosaur. We have a clown. We have a cow. We have the gorilla. Oh my God, the distractions are all going. Right, now stand still for me, distractions. All distractions. We're going to play musical statues. I can't stop. This is hilarious. Like, who on earth even is this? <laughs> Okay, now I want you in an even circle, please, distractions. Thank you. Thank you. An even circle. And we're going to play a game. So we're going to play a game. Now, Emily, could you pick that toy up behind you? Because I fear that if not, she might take you out. And I do not want her to take you out. So we're going to play a game. And the game that we're going to play with our distractions is um, I'm going to say, I'm going to give her love watch. I'm like, now I've realised who everyone is. Um, our chicken's still kicking. She's a kicking chicken. Um, so I'm going to play a game where I'm going to either send her around you, I'm going to ask her to lie down, or I'm asking her to come into the middle. So I'm going to send her around you. I'm going to ask her now, please keep your legs together. <laughs> There's four legs on this one. <laughs> Dear Lord, this one might start bucking. This one, I don't know what the hell to do with that one. Um, okay, so I'm either going to do middle, I'm going to do around, or I'm going to do down. So we're going to go, check, 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 check. Nice. Check, 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 check. Down. Get it? Super. If you would like games like this, this is exactly what we teach. And that instant down is one of the programs in Games Club. Thank you. That was my hand. Come here. 
That's the other thing, guys. If you're playing with your dog and they do bite your hand, you can say, no, that's not acceptable. And we did just say, no, that's not acceptable. Um, okay, so we're going to do middle around our dinosaur. Mildly scared for our dinosaur. Keep your legs together. Literally, I'm scared for you. She's going to take you out here. <laughs> Keep your wings out. Wings out. Wings out. You're doing great. Doing great. She looked fearful. Um, okay, so we're going to do around and then we're going to ask for middle. Ready? Going to do check, 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 check. Come middle. Nice. Get it. And what you can see here is no matter what I'm asking her, she's able to work with, has she ever seen this distraction before, the horse? Has she ever seen... <laughs> this is chaos, you know. This is actually hilarious. Okay, so I'm going to go round. I'm going to do round one. I'm going to do a down on the second one. I'm going to do a middle on the third one. So we're going to go check, 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 check. We're going to go check, 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 down. Good, come middle. Forgot the third wrap, but you know what we're doing well. Okay, one last round. So we're going to do one last round. So we're going to do a round of as many as we humanly can. Ready? Three, two, one. Stand dead still like statues, guys. Nicely done. Check, 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 check. We're going to go check, 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 check. We're going to go check, 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 check. We're going to go check, 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 down. Good. Go check, check. Good. Come. Go check, check, check. Good. Come middle. Get it. Give a round of applause, guys. And give you all a round of applause. You can go out doing the funky chicken and that exit is amazing. Okay, now that was chaos and you've got to love them. Funky chicken, funky pizza, funky snail, funky dinosaur, funky clown, the cow, my favourite, the gorilla, <laughs> the pony, the dinosaurs. Now, for your dog, the most important thing for me is that you know how to handle them in distractions. Because on a serious note, um, if you don't, it can really get you and your dog in trouble. I was riding only the other week and a dog came up uh, wanting to chase uh, the ponies. And that actually is quite a serious situation. So as much fun as we have in dog training, there is a serious purpose here. And the serious purpose is we want dogs to have a better reputation with livestock, ponies, uh, sheep, uh, cattle, um, children, uh, biting, all of the things that they have a bad reputation for. And I think it's really vital that we consider what we can do to improve this literally around the world. And that's what this programme is all about. So I'm going to let you listen to our sex in a squirrel, um, really cool uh, opportunity as to what it's actually about once more. So you're going to listen to that once more. I'm going to head over to our absolute dog space and I'm just going to run through some final questions with you. And if you've got anything you want to ask, please do. Uh, the other thing I'm going to say is I'm going to do one more share prize. So if you'd like to join us for the share prize, make sure you've shared it. I'm going back to uh, look at the comments. Uh, so I'll see the comments. I didn't have enough hands for comments. So I'm going to go back to look at the comments and you're going to listen to the sex squirrel program and I will be there in two minutes. See you in two minutes guys. Are walks with your dog a little stressful? Do they find the environment with all its smells, bunnies, the neighbour's cat, squirrels, muddy puddles, dogs, other distractions, you name it, a bit too exciting? Maybe you have a dog who loves to hang out with you at home, barely leaves your side and thinks you're the best thing since sliced bread or sliced sausage. But you step out the door into the big wide world and it's a whole different story. Suddenly it's as if you don't exist. The world is calling and you just don't quite match up to all the excitement. Perhaps your dog is a social butterfly, always on the lookout for another dog to play with, deaf to your desperate attempts to get them to come back. Maybe birds or wildlife are your dog's ultimate distraction. Perhaps your dog is the one that raids other people's picnics or always finds what's discarded and half eaten. Maybe that burger or the pizza dropped at the side of the road. Or maybe yours is the dog who drags you from the lamppost to the next lamppost, leaving you feeling like you literally are just the person holding the other end of the lead desperately at that. Restricting their choices, holding them back and literally taking them away from all of the fun. The world entices your dog with so many incredible choices and chances. It can make that dog-owning dream of stress-free walks feel such a long way off, maybe even out of reach. The thing about the environment is it's truly unpredictable and therefore exciting. It taps into your dog's natural instincts and gives them endless opportunities for fun and rewarding experiences. Experiences that literally leave you well and truly out of the picture. 
Your dog never quite knows when a squirrel is going to whiz across the path in front of them, shake its bushy little tail and invite them to chase. Or when a bird literally dips in front of a dog, or this could be a rabbit, another dog, your next door neighbour's cat, you get the idea. Something's going to appear and provide them with an amazing experience and that can feel pretty hard to compete with most of the time. Now imagine a walk where your dog chooses you over all the distractions. Squirrels, what squirrels? Other dogs, nope, you got this. Your dog only has eyes for you. Sound good? Pretty great even. What if you could grasp hold of that dream and make it your reality, all by playing simple, fun, effective games designed to teach your dog to ignore distractions, power up their recall, boost your relationship and show your dog that you really are the source of all the best fun, regardless of what sexy diversions and excitement and experiences come in your way. Literally, whatever the environment is trying to tempt them with, you've got this. The truly great news is that yes, you can. You really can transform your walks, conquer those distractions and be at the center of your dog's world. How cool is that? Real life results really are possible and achievable, regardless of your dog's age, breed or history. And we'd love to show you exactly how. Share your dog's ultimate distractions in the comments and let us know what you want to be sexier than. Why not join us on a journey to transformation with our Sexier Than a Squirrel Dog Training Challenge? Are you ready to be sexier, more exciting and way more fun to your dog than any distraction the environment can offer? So first off, mega congratulations for all of you guys either jumping into Games Club and getting all of our programmes for so £30, literally jump in. It's a really exciting space to be. Or maybe you've bought the Sex in a Squirrel course and you literally, I like Valerie here. So Valerie, I love what I just read. Uh, she says, you've done an amazing job this evening. I'm definitely buying the Sexy in a Squirrel uh, and we'll look forward to reading all the bonuses. Um, I also want the long line. I think that would give me the confidence to have him off. There are so many bikes and scooters and I worry he could cause an accident. I think that's a really valid worry as well. And I think that we are um, rightly concerned because our dogs were not necessarily ready for environments that we're putting them in. And dogs are just doing what dogs do. Dogs are doing uh, dog behaviour and we call it a behaviour problem but actually it's a, it's a problem to us, it's not a problem to them and so I think to live in the modern day world with dogs we need to do better, we need to do better. Now what have you got for showing up tonight? So I want you to make sure that you've got everything you should have. So you should get your DMT games card, it's a distraction mark treat, you got that when you signed up for the live, if you didn't get that get hold of us, get in touch with us, someone's going to pop it in the comments now, someone's going to talk to you about it, it's going to be there, we've got an amazing team, show some love for the team because they are literally incredible. Guys, show some love for everyone in this room. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo! So we've got an amazing, amazing team, like incredible team. So that one everybody should have for free, just for showing up, just for being here. You're also going to get, in addition to that, you should also have all of the squirrelometer sheets. And you can see I've got a whole handful here, a whole heap of those. Those are for just being here. We want you to feel the love, we want you to see the love, we want to show you the love. This is for dog owners all over the world. The link's on the screen. If you haven't already got it, pop squirrel in the comments or check out the screen or literally we will get them to you. So pop squirrel in the comments, it's there for you. So I'm going to chuck those on the floor because you've got those as well. The other thing I wanted to tell you is that when you jump into Sex and Squirrel, there's also an option to get our super mega accessory pack. That mega accessory pack is discounted always over 50%, mega discounts, including things like our double-ended leads, uh, our books, our materials, some super cool materials, and literally worth mega bucks, and you're paying like a tiny fraction of what it's actually costing. That package might change, so whatever you sign up for, check out what it is on the page, um, and that one is there for you to get, and it's always at a huge discount, so you can get hold of that one. Now I've got some of the other amazing questions and I've got a last opportunity for you to share. So a last opportunity for you to share because I know there's someone in this room that really wants to win a lead uh, and actually he's still wanting to win a lead so I'm going to give everyone a last opportunity to share. Um, and so uh, definitely, definitely, definitely share it and I'm going to make sure that before the end of this live that we absolutely give away another one of those double-ended leads and puppy lines. So couple of questions. Um, do, 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 do. Um, I don't want to necessarily ditch the bowl. Uh, will I get results if I'm using treats or feeding him some of his food from a bowl? I would say for my dogs, 
it would depend on the dog to the results that you're going to get if you've got a very fussy dog a dog who's really not interested in food i think ditching the bowl can really help to just increase that want for drive for food like it really helps and for me relationship and food is important now i'm a foodie so i actually will work for food any food most of the time even if i'm full i'm a bit like my spaniel blink however some dogs i've got a, a mini american shepherd she's called classic she would not work for much if she hadn't ditched the bowl she's quite fussy she's quite finicky she's not a particularly hungry dog the more you ditch the bowl the more she's interested because it's a bit more meaningful to her so i think it does depend on the individual and i know that's not necessarily the answer you want you want me to tell you exactly what the answer is the answer is dogs will be dogs and all dogs are different and so it's important you sort of bespoke it to your dog so that's for me i'm a raw feeder and i'm not necessarily happy with the idea of using raw don't you panic we've got an ebook for that it's part of the sexiness girl course it's a mega part of the sexiness girl course if you're part of games club you've got it if you're part of sexiness girl you've got it and if you've literally just jumped into the brand new sexiness girl you've got it so we've got you covered raw feeders and i'm definitely a raw feeder too with my dogs so you've got you covered um okay next one i've got a dog who's a prolific scavenger and i'm worried that if i start doing this it's going to make her worse um is that the case for me i've got two dogs who are prolific scavengers and actually dogs really are prolific scavengers if you think about how dogs um really how they came about um, and and their history actually scavenging is what they do and scavenging is part of their genetic makeup and so for me this is more that you're putting things on cue and you're telling them when it's appropriate you're telling them where it's appropriate for example i don't know and um, let's say you go out and you you go and have a party or a work do or a, an evening it's appropriate to drink alcohol but is it appropriate to drink alcohol maybe in your day-to-day -day job and every day of the week no and i think it's important that you you put sort of parameters and boundaries on when it's appropriate and when it should happen you can see that here it's wine o'clock for the people in the room they're all nodding uh, and so uh, absolutely put the parameters in and decide where it's appropriate and for me when i'm playing games with my dogs i'm throwing food but when i'm out and about i don't expect them to go searching for food everywhere and so um, dogs are brilliant at picking up context and dogs are brilliant at picking up when things are appropriate and dogs are brilliant at picking up cues and pairs and markers and, and all of the above so absolutely 100 percent we've got you covered and that's exactly what we do uh, i myself um, have multi dogs and i definitely can show you how it works we've got multi breeds multi ages multi stages multi do different dogs in trainability and hopefully you saw that tonight we had huskies jack russell terriers labradoodles and um, spaniels like literally we had a bit of everything in fact i don't think we did have a spaniel did we have a spaniel no we had a hungarian vishla um, we literally we we had pretty much every breed out there so border collie so literally lots of different breeds out there um, I'm worried that my dog's too old to learn. You saw our Yorkshire Terrier. Our Yorkshire Terrier is 12 and it's keeping her young. So please, please do that. Now, I'm going to go into our share competition because if you haven't already shared, tell me now about your share. Oh no, the comments have gone. I don't know what's happened. My comments have gone, so I can't go into the share competition right now because the the comments have gone but i am going to go into the share competition so please tell me your share oh it's come back tina bailey has shared and uh, martina has shared someone's put balls in the comment i'm not sure what you mean by that <laughs> i'm going to giggle i'm going to assume you mean your dog runs after balls that's what i'm going to assume i'm going to take the good in your message i'm going to take the good in your message um okay uh da -da -da. And, and karen says great presentations if you've jumped into anything guys i haven't got lists they've gone everything's gone a bit chaos here uh, so congrats Congratulations, I'm really happy for you and uh, very, very excited to have you. Oh, there's someone called Kev that shared. Kev has shared. Kev has shared. He's very excited to win a lead. He's very excited to win a lead. But no, there's another one. There's another one. There's definitely another one because you guys are thinking that's not authentic, are you? I can tell. Kev won. Kev, you won a lead. He's won a blue lead. I can tell he needs a blue lead. Okay, uh, I, I've seen that we've got a Sarah, a Sarah Cowie. Cowie, is this the share? Is this a share? Okay, it's a share. So Sarah Cowie, you have shared and you are winning. You are winning a lead and you're winning a puppy line. So amazing for you. I think I've probably got one more in me. I've probably got one more in me. Now, guys, if you have any questions, you know where our help desk are. You know where our ask team are. Uh, if someone could pop a link to the help desk. It's been amazing to see you. Whether you're training a Dalmatian, a Damnation, a Jack Russell Terrier, a Frenchie, it really is 
there's a game for that. There's a game for you. There's a game for your dog. And we absolutely know that we can help whatever age, whatever stage. And I'd love you to join us in any capacity. If you've already joined us, maybe you want to get the accessory pack or maybe just excited to jump in because if you've already joined us and you're in Games Club, you have got the brand new Sexy and Squirrel already. Guys, I'm so excited that we get to celebrate version 3.0 of the Sexy and Squirrel course. We have seen it before. We've done it before. We've literally helped over 100,000 owners with their dogs. I can't wait to see what this journey does for you. We're going to head to the final part of our coaching, our teaching, so you get to just maybe watch some of our students and watch some of the fun that we've had over the years. And most of all, make it an amazing day, an amazing evening. And my last share is going to be the wonderful Helen Edwards uh, Schlofer. You win our very, very final, final lead. And I'm really excited to share that with you guys we'll see you soon watch the video play the games and we can't wait to see you in the games club hi i'm lauren i'm owner of one of the largest dog training centers in the uk co-author of an international best-selling dog training book and your dog training expert let's dive into something that is really going to flip the script on how you see dog training we're not talking about the same old sit, you wait there, you stay routine. We're about to explore the Absolute Dogs Games Club, Dog Training Academy. And let me tell you, it's a game changer. So buckle up as we unpack this treasure trove of dog training gold. So what can Games Club do for you? Welcome to the big leagues, our massive games library. It's everything you can imagine and so much more. Imagine having a vault of over 450 games at your disposal, at your fingertips. If sold packaged together, oh my goodness, you wouldn't want to know, likely over two and a half thousand pounds. This isn't just a collection of games, it's the master key to dog training, engineered to look, unlock every single challenge and turn it into a stepping stone for growth and for transformation. Whether you're navigating the stormy seas with a pup who's a whirlwind of energy or guiding an older dog through some new discoveries, our games are a compass for your success. Got problems? We have got solutions for you. Literally, we've all been there. Your dog's pulling on the leash like they're trying to win a husky sled race. Or maybe they've got a PhD in ignoring you. That's where our nifty solutions come into play. A sweet 347 value or more with over 200 lessons that delve into all of the puppy and adolescent struggles that you may face. These aren't just fixes, they literally are game changers, transforming your daily dilemmas into walks in the park that are literally cool and geared towards surviving a puppyhood. The foundations and golden nuggets that apply to dogs of all ages all life stages and breed makeup and also your training level. We can't forget the Zen Master Course. It's your calmness solution. If your home feels more like a circus than a sanctuary, the Calm Course valued at over £147 is about to become your very best friend. This is about bringing peace to the chaos, teaching your dog the fine art of chilling out and bringing that much needed Zen into your life. It's literally the dog owning dream and maybe helping you with your current reality. Maybe your current reality is a nightmare. We're gonna unlock calm. It's going to be your new superhero ingredient. Okay, your dog can master self-control, boundary games and real life boundaries. These are all extra special bonuses. Boundaries, literally every relationship needs them. We see these as bed games, boundaries that are for life, even with all of the dog struggles that we see. We're throwing in boundary games and real life boundaries, all worth over £167. This is your blueprint for establishing structure and rules in a very fun, effective and most of all results driven way. We're going to ensure that your dog becomes a pro at staying, polite household manners, door manners, visitor greetings, and so much more through our world-renowned bed game strategies. Who doesn't love a well-behaved dog that really does know how to relax and when to turn on the fun? Oh my goodness, there's more. Our 10-day series, quick, effective solutions for all of your dog training problems. 
jumping, barking, pulling, stealing. Oh my goodness, we have you covered. Our 10 day series tackles each of these head on with every course valued at over 27 pounds. These are your quick targeted solutions to turn chaos into calm in record time. We're gonna give you powerful, specially curated formulas so that hope can become a very real and tangible reality for you and your dog. Become more enticing than a squirrel. Instead, become the experience. Have you ever lost the battle of attention to a squirrel or a similar distraction? Maybe it's a wallaby, a snake, a horse, a jogger. Maybe it's a biker, another dog, or simply another person. Well, not anymore. With the Sexy Than a Squirrel course, valued at over £97, we're making you the most irresistible thing on two legs. Say goodbye to being second fiddle to distractions and become the number one choice for your dog every single time. You get the VIP experience with community support and live training. Join the elite club with exclusive community access and support, live dog training, always valued at over £97 if was offered separately. This is where you get the backstage pass to real-time support, advice and live sessions. You're never going to be flying solo. You've got us by your side. We're always going to be giving you our very best knowledge so that we can share the very most up-to-date and modern training with you. Training that works, games-based training, games that work for you. We're deepening relationships and staying ahead of the curve. With relationship success and our weekly tailored newsletter, exclusive to Games Club members valued at over £27, and honestly, one being pretty priceless if we do say so ourselves, you're not just training, you're building the foundations that are going to stay with you and your dog for life, all while staying on the cutting edge of dog training strategies that are provided to you in a structured, easy to access format. Got internet? You've got quality training. We want to transform lives no matter what you're facing with your dog. You don't need to be alone. No matter your struggle, there's a game for that. Are you facing a unique challenge? Our struggle-focused resource packs and the Struggle to Solution collections, another set of priceless bonuses to your Games Club experience, are like having custom-made, literally built programs for you. They're going to fit your needs perfectly, turning struggles into victories with collections like the next level calm series, loose leash walking foundations, visitor victories, distractions 101, multi-dog solutions, reactivity solutions, boundary boosts, come when called, our stay with me series and so many more. We have more than 15 collections for you to immediately dive into. With Games Club, you get hundreds of three-minute game-changing dog training games and exclusive access to one of the world's leading games-based training experts and an incredible, knowledgeable pro dog trainer team. And for those moments when you really want an instantaneous response or you need more support in this journey that can definitely, no doubt, feel like a roller coaster sometimes, our instant down playlist and our exclusive Games Club member PDT discounted sessions worth over £100 together give you a fast, effective and complete strategy and solution and exclusive content at your fingertips, including a call with one of our very own pro dog trainers for a customised exploration of all the games and the Games Club has to offer. And this is at a seriously discounted rate, only available to Games Club members. Now, if we were to put a price tag on all of this entire bundle of joy, you'd be looking at well over £3,000. But here's the deal. We are so not about that. We're here to make world-class dog training accessible because we believe every dog and every owner deserves to live their best life together. You deserve to have everything you've ever dreamed of and so much more with your dog. So are you ready to join the revolution and start this incredible journey? Let's do this. Welcome to the Absolute Dogs Games Club, where we make every single moment with your dog not just better, but absolutely unforgettable. Mm -hmm.